to PC Tech Support Challenge number three, the finale. It's me versus Anthony. Each of us has an identical computer that's beautiful, but unfortunately, fundamentally broken. And we are going to be competing to see who can first diagnose these PCs and get them back to the righteous, powerful, performant beasts that they are supposed to be. We're just gonna throw you guys over to our live commentators, Alex and Riley, who are gonna run you guys through the rules because I have absolutely no idea what's going on. All I know is I got my trusty screwdriver, I got a broken computer, and I'm gonna win this thing. I love the confidence. Welcome <laughs> back, Build Sport fans. I'm Riley. I'm Alex. And we are hosting this PC Tech Support Challenge number three. So we're going to go over the rules real quick. Obviously, they both have, Linus and Anthony both have PCs that have a number of things wrong with them. And they're, what are you, what are you pressing a button? Oh, we're yes. going to go to the rules. All yep, right. There are the rules. So here's the rules. Only use the hardware at your workstation, uh, obviously. All glass panels must be attached slash closed when running benchmarks. So none of this, none of this open tense test bench stuff, okay? We're professionals. We aren't, but they are. If you miss any errors, you'll receive a penalty on your final time. Okay, so you might you might be tempted to skip something here, but it'll come back to bite you later. There are also a few bonus error, errors you could attempt to solve for some additional time off your score, but you'll need to figure them out. <laughs> Wait, there are bonus goals, but they don't know what they are, Chase? Think critically. Think critically. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's just general good advice. Uh, <laughs> so you could you could make a mistake and receive time off, but you could also get it back if you if you find out one of these bonus uh, goals. As well, they're gonna need some critical files that have been provided via a flash drive that is available uh, somewhere around there in the, in their vicinity. I'm assuming. Yes. Did you put it there? I did not. Okay, but someone did. We have we have faith. All right. Oh, you've got the drives. They've got the drives. Don't worry. So okay. here are their goals. These are the goals, yeah, not the rules. Go yeah. ahead, Alex. They would like to achieve a minimum score of 14,600 in a single run of Cinebench R23. They want to use the TimeSpark or TimeSpy Extreme 4K DirectX 12 benchmark to beat a score of 8,100, surpass these read and write speeds on Crystal Disk Mark, and copy the provided world save to your Minecraft installation folder and complete the in-game task. Additional details will be provided when you load into the world. Okay, and I'm, I don't think I'm even aware of what game, oh, it's Minecraft. Yeah, it says, <laughs> it says right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I read it earlier and they hadn't decided it was Minecraft. Okay, <clears throat> classic game. And so, and so what, w without any further ado, I think we just get started with this thing, right? I mean, Am we're I ready. Wrong? We're ready. We're Let's ready, okay. So we're gonna count down. You guys are gonna hit your start buttons. I'm ready. Are you ready, Anthony? Uh, I guess so. What are we going, five? Hold on, do we get to do a little bit of trash talk first? Because I, I think it's kind of time for a little bit of trash talk. That's I mean, not very float, nice. Float plane chat. I knew you would be doing this. Okay, oh float plane chat wrote me off. They immediately wrote me off. They're all like, eh, Linus hasn't even done any, Linus hasn't even done any tech support or PC technician stuff since he was at NCIX. He's going down. I will have you know, I was doing PC tech challenge diagnosis yesterday. I had an issue with NVIDIA Surround, and I didn't solve it. But what I did do was send an irate email to NVIDIA complaining that I couldn't resolve the issue. So You don't need to have tech support skills I when you have up. contacts. I leveled up. All right, Anthony, what do you got? What do you got? What's your biggest diss? Oh, this is rude. <laughs> My biggest diss is that the motto for Geek Squad is Kira et Celeritas. Speed, <clears throat> sorry, if, uh, accuracy and speed in that order. So that we'll Latin? see how that works out. <laughs> yeah, that's Latin. Geek Squad Kira from Best Buy has a Latin slogan? That Motto? is very Geek surprising to me. All that's right. That's amazing. Okay, All guys, right. how, do, should we ask you how you're feeling about your chances? Oh, I'm 100%. I'm 100%. There's no way I'm <laughs> losing this. Oh my I feel gosh. like it's coin flip. I think it's oh. just going to be a wash. For some reason, I, I that that ha shows me more confidence on Anthony's side. I don't know, Linus, he might be blustering. <laughs> Riley, I lost your Bluffing? feed. Oh, Hopefully and he's they gone. can still I hear you hear guys. Him. But back to uh, the he's, he's talking. He's saying something. Um, but... yeah. His mic <laughs> is just gone. Just tell us when to get going. Uh, well, we definitely can't start, or can we start? We can just start. 
can well, if, he, if, he, if he can't, if he can't hear you, then we can't start. Yeah, I can hear we you. Need to okay. it down. You're back. Oh, here Perfect. he is. All right, let's get let's get started with this thing. Why don't we? All Linus, right. are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Anthony, Alex, I'm ready. Everyone's ready. Five. Let's say it together. Okay. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Five, <laughs> four. Five, three, three, two, two, two one. one. Oh, there's a delay. Go. <laughs> what? All right, we oh got this. <laughs> go, go, now, go. Now, obviously, the first thing I'm going to need to do is get these boys. This thing ever heavy. My goodness, uh, tempered glass side so panels good. are can be a nightmare yeah, yeah. to deal with. All right, we're now, switching obviously, back to just us. Oh, Linus thinks he's. The, we're the hosts of this stream, Linus. My. We'll call on you in a second. <laughs> oh man. So this, I'm excited for this because these guys, I mean, you you have more PC tech building support stuff uh, experience than I do. That's for sure. I'm cheering for Anthony. You're cheering. You can't Full show stop. favoritism. All right, let's go. Let's go to Linus. He's talking. All right. All right. You're on, Linus. <sighs> you're now, out. something that I'm a he little confused even, he, about is compared to yeah, some of the stopped. previous uh, tech support challenge computers, these look fairly like good you know i don't see anything immediately obviously wrong with it let's move around to the back side here uh all right this is a little funky we've got a display port cable we're using this looks like uh this looks like cable oh well there's a problem apparently in shipping our graphics card <laughs> popped out of the pci express slot so um I mean that's fixed now. I mean that might have just happened. This, this is not, just gonna be. Are you just gonna be doing is, running commentary the entire time? Even I mean when I we can. don't have your mic on. He can't hear us. Can I'm capable us? of that. I can hear you. Jeez uh, Louise! Oh. We had your mic off there for a while, but you were talking to the to the to the Here's cosmos, a, hoping someone was listening. Here's a wire. Um, <laughs> All right, oh, let's go to Anthony. They should be going, Anthony. <laughs> Hello. Talking. Hello. How's uh, it you've going? You've been muted for the last little while. What did you just discover? Well, I mean, the first thing I discovered is this GPU needs to go. Um, the other thing was, oh, okay, the, the like very it? first, well, I mean, that's not, that's not the problem. The problem is that it's kind of in the way. And the other mm. problem is that it's got this weird, stupid cable thing coming out of it. I don't know what's going on with that. There's However, usually cables coming out of the GPU. I know that Yes. Much. However, the GPU is usually flush with the back panel. This mm. is not. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is that the uh, the cooler, there are uh, some fans that are not necessarily pointing the right direction. Uh, we'll see how else, how much else I get here. Oh man, what is this bracket? There's so wait, fans. is Go that ahead. a case that has a vertical GPU mount in it, but they have a cable mod vertical GPU extender in it? Yes. Oh, excellent. So we just made this more difficult. Oh, yeah. Right, well, I mean, that's, your, that's to, the job. Let's go back over to Linus. Hey, Linus, what have you found so far? So far, I have found a loose connector in the power supply. I'm just popping the power supply out so that I can get a bit of a better look at it. Um, I found a loose connector in the power supply. I found a taped over power connector for um, what appears to be the built-in fan hub. Uh, so that's that's broken. That fan hub has no power. Obviously, those fans are not going to get any power, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, what I'm probably intended to do here is use the included Commander. I can't tell if the, uh, this looks like a Commander Pro. So I'm going to move those fans over to that. But I'm going to worry about little things like cable managing fans a bit later. First, I want to trace all my power supply cables and make sure that they're all kind of somewhere useful. Uh, obviously, the PCI Express connector being disconnected on the graphics card. Now, what I'm worried about is that we went with a vertical graphics card for a reason. I'm, I'm wondering if mayhaps uh, something is being hidden back there. So I'm going to take a bit of time. I'm going to pop that graphics card out. I'm not well, even going to try to turn this thing on until I've just, given it, it a once better. over. You, you want the vertical GPU because it looks better. You might as well leave it where it is probably. Oh, I, I completely agree. By the way, I just found out that Jake apparently designed these challenges this time around, so I'm expecting them to be absolutely evil. I mean, I did find another one just now. One of my drives, I noticed that I have two, two and a half inch SATA drives down here. One of my drives is unplugged. 
So that's something that's right. that I can remedy. For, oh, and this one was loose. One was unplugged outright, and one of them was loose. So we've got I that. I mean, you don't necessarily need to bolt those drives in. You know, they're chilling. They're fine. Here. All right, I'm going to go okay. back to Anthony. Back to Anthony. Let's Only check in. Thing. Hello. Hello again, Anthony. A uh, little What's question. Up? What do yep. you have besides just your PC to help you fix it? What do I have besides just my PC to help me fix it? And a great uh, attitude. I've got an iFixit kit. I do have a monitor, a keyboard, and mouse. So I could just power it on and see what happens. However, I don't know if I want to do that. Um, maybe I will. Did you you didn't bring any uh, did you bring any custom tools that you were were prepared to the think it'll help you? Uh, I brought this. It's like a I use it for poking and prying at things sometimes. Everybody needs a poker and prior. That's that's it. That's <laughs> the joke. Pan fryer. Any day of the week. Well, so what did we'll, Linus, what, what did, what did Linus, well, I mean Linus has the whole build corner. We can't so. tell you what Linus is doing. You can probably hear him talking to himself though. He might still be doing it right now. He thinks he's hosting a video. Well, yeah, I mean I've been talking to myself too. So presumably, I mean, it's a good, it's a good mental health on? practice. No, I don't think I should. <laughs> All right, let's go oh back to Linus. All right, Linus, you're back on. Are you just gonna be uh, fiddling with the spaghetti the whole time, or? No, 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 no. I'm solving problems right now. Are you concerned? Are you concerned that you're kind of missing the the forest for the weeds right now? The, the no, trees. not at all. <laughs> forest I'm the finding. Trees. That's I'm a that's a phrase forest. as well. Forest for the weeds. No, I'm finding lots of problems. I just found a SATA cable up here that's not connected, so I'll be dealing with that. Um, oh wait, I'm going back see? to Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, what did you just discover? Uh, literally every one of the RAM is like dummies. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, you know, hey, the, you know, sometimes you find yourself in a situation where the RAM that you have is not actually RAM and is just a bunch of plastic and. You know, I think this is a metaphor for for life. <laughs> so, what do there you do? We go. What do you do when you find yourself with a with four modules of RGB plastic? <laughs> RGB well, that are not it. volatile or non-volatile. Yeah, like I, I was uh, I was unscrewing the CPU bracket um, cooler bracket, and I noticed that the RAM was askew, and I'm like, oh, I'll fix that. I'll just reseed all the RAM and. Uh, Yep. <clears throat> so wait, we had an issue. One of the one of the errors was that the RAM is a jar, but then it turns out that all the RAM is just fake RAM, anyways. <laughs> I guess so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's PC Tech Support Challenge. You know, this is these these are these are designed to replicate real world issues. Yes. That people might. Encounter. I have never had this issue before. You've never. No. You never ha bought. I'm gonna I'm gonna go away from Anthony just so we don't distract him for a second. You've never bought a full pre-built PC and discovered that one of the components is not actually a component; is just kind of a placeholder piece of plastic. Well, I got a Dell XPS desktop that had a GT 740 in it, which might as well have been a placeholder. So. Oh, shots fired! Yep. Against the, the that poor old GT 40. Yeah, what a or 740. Just a terrible graphics card. I mean, Piece I don't have a, I don't have similar, I don't have a similar story because I don't think that's something that actually happens in real life. But this challenge is not designed to replicate real life exactly. It's supposed to test these these champions' abilities. Yeah. So let's go to Linus. It looks like once he's again talking chat. to himself. Hello, you, Linus. What are you doing, Linus? I'm just making little notes for myself. I'm trying to f figure out all the things that I have found so far. Uh, one thing I found that hopefully is one of our bonus objectives is our sponsor. Obviously, this video wouldn't have been possible without Intel, who is the sponsor of Tech Support Challenge. Thank you, Intel. I have no idea what the talking points are for it because we kind of forgot to mention them up until this point in the video. Probably something about 11th Gen Core being great for gaming. So uh, go ahead and learn more about them at the link that is presumably in the description. You'll also find links for all the parts, uh, affiliate links, 
and oh, the video description as well. Now, I have found something new since you guys last talked to me. There's a SATA cable going into the motherboard that was just running up to absolutely nowhere here. And I have rewired all of the fans and their RGB cables to the Commander Pro. So this built-in fan hub is now doing nothing. And the same goes for this built-in uh, RGB hub. Both of these guys right here are now useless. Linus, are you worried that you're going to spend a lot of time on the RGB and make sure that all the fans are going just like perfectly, but then you try to, you know, get into get into real business and, you know, what you you you've discovered that uh, your PC looks really nice, but, and you can fill in the blanks. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not worried about if you're asking if I'm worried about not being able to fix the PC. No, that thought had not entered my mind. Uh, I found a loose screw. There's a loose screw sitting down here in the bottom of the case. Is, is you don't that a have bonus? Nvidia. You don't have Nvidia on speed dial for this one. I don't need Nvidia on speed dial. Okay. <laughs> we have email. God, what <laughs> year is it? <laughs> That's true. That's true. I shouldn't have. That was. I shouldn't have used that metaphor to begin with. Speed See you later. Dial. Yeah, I'm going to return to Anthony. Hello, Anthony. How's it going? Uh, it's going. Um, it looks like there's nothing with the CPU or socket. That's nice. Wait, the CPU might be the wrong CPU. Damn you all. Wait, okay, what? well, yeah, well uh, how do you know that? Or how do you check think under that? the CPU I don't thermal paste? Ah. Well, I know for a fact that we are replacing things, so this precedent has been set. Now I need to check it again. <laughs> anyway, this power supply, I noticed when I was looking through the boxes here. There's no way in hell this power supply is going to power a 3080. Wait a second. How do you right? know that? Did you do the math? Like, it's a 550 watt gold. So. I mean, hey, is there don't, another don't one underestimate there? Uh, components, you know? Like, sometimes they got a little chutzpah hiding, hide, hiding deep within and themselves. Sometimes. <sighs> you got another one in the box. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you're actually finding problems with your PC. Now somebody just left that in there. I don't know why. I don't know why that would. Dude, there's you don't a lot know of why parts, it's here, huh? There's a lot of parts lying around. Uh, you know, Linus Media Group headquarters here. It's true. Right, let's let's there's go back to Linus and see there. what he's finding. All right, hey Linus. Hey Hi. Linus. I'm back. Wait, you heard I... me say that before we switched to you. I can't tell if you guys are just kind of trying to psych me out and throw me off no, the case, no, or if no, I'm no, actually no. if I'm actually missing something huge here. I don't think we could. It's I don't think we, even if say. we tried. Yeah, I. Although I want Anthony to win, I'm not going to intentionally make you lose. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I mean, I don't think you have that power. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Can, I'm good. You're I just telling this. Linus you don't want him to win. Yeah, I'm telling Lattice that I don't want him to win. That's not that, very nice. That's not a secret. That's not a secret. Everybody likes to root for the underdog. You know what I'm saying? Well, I just don't Alex root just, for anybody. Alex just wants to root for the underdog. I get it. Well, maybe Anthony's just a nicer person. Whoa! He's oh. a gentle giant. And you're more of you, kind of like a spicy with tamale. That, you know? I'm a nice person. I'm a very nice person. Look how nice I am. Watch this. I'm going to nicely fix up this computer for you guys faster than Anthony. Yeah, whoever, whatever the customer was who sent this computer in for service, you are, I mean, you care about I'm their them. hero. So, I'm their hero. Yeah, they accidentally, nope, that's a spoiler. This is not so about competition for me, okay? This is about customer service. All right. So exactly. Are you going to just try and turn it on right now? I am. I'm going okay, to try just, to turn just it on. Okay, just see what happens. Just has see what has happens. Anthony tried to turn it on? We can't tell Linus. We yeah, no, I don't him. think you're allowed to tell me that. Okay. okay. And see what a We're nice going guy away I am? For a second. Respecting the spirit of the competition here, okay? That's brilliant, right. Linus, and I believe in you. We'll check back in with you in a second here. Bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> As he starts talking. <laughs> Wait, so Anthony has not tried to turn on the PC yet, right? No, I think that he wisely is just finding the what's wrong with it pretty much completely tearing it down and then I mean, reassembling it in a way that he knows is going to work. If he tried if he tried to boot the PC with those fake RAM modules, would it have it might have gone into BIOS or something. Not even. No, it wouldn't have. It wouldn't have. Nothing. 
Well, I mean, that would be a dead giveaway. Well, something's wrong, but you don't know what. Yeah. It's better to find out. It's better. So it's a better strategy. Do you think it's a better strategy what they're doing right now? Well, history has showed before because when Steve and Jay were doing this in number one or two, I don't remember which one. I think that was one. Steve completely took the computer apart, reassembled it, <laughs> and he won because he found that. stuff. Whereas Jay tried to do what Linus is doing, do it piecemeal like, and he missed a couple of things. Interesting. I mean, so. that's definitely that's definitely the dilemma when you're doing any sort of troubleshooting. It's like, do I just go back to basics and and start from start from scratch, or do I try to slap some duct tape on it? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Anthony. Hello, Anthony. What are you working on now? Right now, I'm trying to clean up the power supply cables. Um, particularly, I'd like to get this shroud out of the way. Um, yeah. Are you, uh, when you build a PC normally, are you kind of like a spaghetti in the back type of guy? Or business in the front, spaghetti in the back? Or are you like a, it needs, I mean, to, be, if I have, it needs to be perfect? If I have to choose one of the two, it's going to be business in the front, uh, spaghetti in the back. But uh, I would prefer it. If it was clean, uh, does however, Geek Squad, does Geek Squad have a Latin phrase about that? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a Latin phrase about cleanliness. I mean, sure, I'm sure there is, but now I'm gonna Google what that phrase is in Latin. Google no, right, what, what phrase is in Latin? Business in the front, spaghetti in the back. We'll find out. Spaghetti. Let's okay. go back to Linus here. <laughs> Hello, Linus. How long until you try and power on? I was waiting for you guys. Oh, okay. You're waiting? The time is running. The clock is ticking. You can't I've wait. I've got all the time Linus. in the world. All right. Uh, this Whoa, motherboard, the confidence. This motherboard has um, onboard power, but yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Now we're going to find out if we get any kind of signal from this machine. Uh, the RGB is all lit up. That's something that I fixed already proactively. I believe my fans are all either spinning or going to spin. Yep, there they go. All my fans are spinning. However, it would be pretty... Oh. Okay, my monitor wasn't on. Let's... Uh, That's step number this, one. Let's give this the old resetty set. Also... And I know about that. The monitor's got to be on. Graphics card got pulled out. Ugh. While I was trying to hit the that timer. power button. Oh, oh, That's Anthony, cool. wait, we gotta switch back to Anthony. Anthony, your timer yep. stopped. What? Good oh, gravy. Oh, come on. Hit it. Oh <laughs> my gosh, how oh, long was that? Uh... No, stop hitting it, no, no. Oh no, okay, oh, wait, it's... it might be we, working We now. broke it all. All right, Ooh. we're going back to Well, that's, that's what you get for having an easy, like a linear key, uh, key switch right there. <laughs> <laughs> Did anyone notice? Oh wait, we should have. We can, we'll be able to tell afterwards yeah. when it actually stopped. It'll be fine. But we don't know how long it was stopped for because there's a discrepancy. All uh, right, we got it. We fake. got it. All right, we're back on you, Linus. What did you just discover? Found your fake RAM. <laughs> Whoa, fake is a strong word. I mean, it's technically still RAM. Uh huh. No, it's, no, it's really actually not. technically not. <laughs> it's Wait, well, you're saying fake RAM. It's right in the name. If I had well, called what them what fake modules, you could have said yes because they're technically modules. But they are pretty random. Uh, they... Just pieces okay. of plastic with RGB, so random. Access yep. memory. You know what though, you know what though? I like them, I'm gonna keep two of them. <laughs> oh do you man, not the confidence. Think, do you think that'll cause trouble in your benchmarks? Uh, no, no, I don't think yeah. so. None Wait, of the benchmarks, why would you? I've already got a, I've got a, a 16 gig kit here. This is no, this is no problem. This is no problem. All right. Yeah, now but I'm once you open Chrome, you'll be done. Again. Wait, but you don't, right. you don't have. I, I'm confused about what he's got. Does he have four real modules, or only nope. two real modules? I have two real modules and two just RGB uh, aesthetic ones. All right, just well, like it's it, sure. Just like was intended. Okay, that's the correct. That's the correct configuration. AORS RGB memory, two by eight gig, two RGB infused demo modules also included, see? Correct configuration, that's a little judgy, I feel like. It's right on the box. Do, it's on the back. Do we know if this is a daisy chain motherboard? In which case, uh, you could make an argument that you can go faster. Wait, we why, don't know. Why are you, why are you giving them tips, We Alex? don't know that, we don't know that. But what we do it's, know is that we're in Windows. 
Oh, that's and good. And I'm going to go ahead and just give it a quick, uh, I want to have a look at the BIOS before we go any further. All right. All right I'm going to switch back to Anthony. My See you later. <laughs> Hello, Anthony. We're always again. cutting him Hello. off. I love this. So what are you doing? How are you? Timer again. Oh, he hit the timer again, but it looks like he fixed it. Okay. <laughs> should I like just move this whole thing over? Like, should I should I like push the timer somewhere else? Um, you know, it's a timer, so. All right. I'm gonna Although go back actually, to your timer is kind of useless now at this point because. Uh, yeah. You're almost a full minute behind, so we might as well. Ju we're just gonna use Linus's. All right, I'm gonna go into Linus. Hey, Linus, you're back. What are you finding in the Wait. BIOS? So far, I have found a bit of a confusing. Thing. It appeared oh, as though the XMP profile was loaded, but for whatever reason, it um, didn't actually apply. Like it's running at DDR4 2666. So we're going to see what's happening with that. I can see that I have a an MP600 boot drive. It's probably probably an MP600 Pro, uh, and that's probably in the wrong slot. But I haven't dealt with that yet. I will I will go deal with that later. Um, I just want to poke through and just see. I see we have RST with Intel Optane. Oh, no, okay, yeah, so we've got RST, so that means that those two and a half inch drives are running in RAID of some sort. Uh, fortunately, I had them both plugged back in before I even tried to boot. So, yeah, here we go. I've got my two terabyte uh, M.2, and then I've got my two um, uh, MX500s from Crucial. Linus, uh, it's pretty bold of you to assume that both drives should be plugged in. Um, <laughs> no, I really don't think it is, given that we have RST on here. I think All that's right. a if pretty you, good hey, assumption. If you're feeling good, you know, I'm not going to... I'm a little surprised. Computers. I'm a little surprised that there was nothing bunged up with the CPU. Everything's in silent mode. I don't think we get any points for uh, silent operation here, so let's go standard mode. Yeah, Jay could have been a jerk and bent a pin. It's true. I mean, he could have fixed. I could have fixed that though. Sometimes he just does as a as a prank um, on people in the office. I really <laughs> do not see any problems here. All right. Well, hopefully you find one. We'll check back in in a second. Back Let's to fire Anthony. Up. Oh. oh wait, that's that's Anthony. Hello, Anthony. What? Hello. Have you found any more problems? It looks like you're doing quite a bit of removal. Uh, well, I'm just trying to uh, get some space. Uh, this stupid shroud is like kind of right in my way. However, uh, that might be enough for now. Uh, the other thing was completely unnecessary because we're not mounting anything to it. So yeah, that's basically it for now. I think I see a loose SATA cable back there which again is blocked by this. <clears throat> well, I mean, the SATA cables aren't even connected to anything, are they? We do have SSDs. Yeah, okay. Okay, you know what? We're gonna check in one second because Alex and I have something to discuss. Uh-oh. Later. Uh, what are we discussing? I just wanted to check in where what their progress is and in, in, in di discovering these errors because I think we know that uh, some of them, some of them have been discovered. So like the RAM sticks, the fake RAM sticks, they both they both found that, right? Yeah, I can... F it seems like Linus is ahead right now, unfortunately. Or are we not supposed to tell everyone? We're not supposed to tell everyone all the errors. But we can, dis we can say what they've discovered. Okay, so... Uh, I feel like Linus is about to... Well... Make some progress. Should we get, I feel should we like get he's back about to, to have his computer shut down on him. But you know, as see. I was going as I was going through, I realized that there isn't a ton. But it seems like Linus is making a bit more progress than Anthony. What do you think? It does seem that way. Let's go. Who we him. have to stop him. <laughs> Just kidding. So Hello? Linus, what have you found in Windows? Uh, so far in Windows, I have found that my drivers are missing for my RAID controller. It doesn't appear to have slowed me down, though, because my benchmarks drive has shown up with all the benchmarks that I need sitting there on it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix that, though, anyway. I also noticed that my update for Windows 10 version 21 half 1 is pending install. It would have been nice if you guys updated Windows before doing this. <laughs> um, I'm really sorry about that, Linus. Also, I had nothing to do with that. Chase? They were built a month ago. <laughs> they were built a month ago, apparently. Well, I'm, I, want, I want bonus points for finding that. 
I don't have GeForce experience. Check with the manuals. I don't know if not having GeForce experience is a. <clears throat> You're is the a PC tech the support guy. What do you mean? Maybe a user doesn't know how to install the drivers or whatever. I just want to make sure that I have the latest drivers before I go ahead and run my graphics benchmarks here. That's generally a good thing to do. I'd say. Um, I noticed that. Let's see, benchmarks. I noticed Combustor is here. I don't see Afterburn. You know what? I'm, I'm throwing GeForce Experience on here. 456.38. Oh, no. Is, uh, is, this is he going to lose some points from, from the chat for using GeForce Experience instead of I'm manually? I'm not going to lose points for that. Get real. You no, know, just from the chat. It's perfectly I, I, legit. I don't think that... I'm not, I'm not commenting on whether it has any impact on your final score. I don't think it... Well, you All know right. I don't know. <laughs> Let's check in with Anthony. See you later. Messy. I don't like it, but it's what we got for now. All right, we're back to you, Anthony. Hello. You don't like your spaghetti messy? The only way. I mm, yeah, I guess. Um, unfortunately, the way things are, uh, I need to make some uh, messy spaghetti. You know. Sometimes you gotta mess up your spaghetti a little bit. You know, that's that's what my grandma always used to say. She, did yeah. not, she definitely did not say that. I am not going to keep these down here if I can help it. So you had to replace all of the cables, didn't you? Um, not all of them, but yes, all of the power cables. Yes, all of those. Well, yeah, since you're, you have replaced the power supply from what I understand here. Yes. Okay. I mean, oh, I have an update on the Latin, by the way. You want to hear it? Sure. Business in the front, spaghetti in the back in Latin is, <laughs> according to Google, nego negotium, negotium in fronte, spaghetti <coughs> entergo. Okay? That sounds about right, yeah. So maybe that'll give you some energy to, to you know, power through here. Sure. <laughs> Hello, Linus. Hi. I found Have that you my found anything is else? I found that my Bluetooth drivers were out of date, so I'm going to go ahead and get that fixed up. One of the first things you want to do with the machine is make sure that all your drivers are up to date. I am downloading yes. my rapid storage technology installer right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. I've got hardware info, so I'm going to fire that up real quick here and see if there's anything that jumps out of the page at me as being a problem. Wow, sounds like you're, uh, you're, going, you're going deep on this platform is not supported oh, how far away uh lines how far away do you think you are from uh running your first benchmarks i mean i could probably run my first benchmarks right now if i really wanted to i'm just getting my latest graphics drivers installed here that is now done oh boy i'm a little confused wait about a second chase just gave me a look i'll be right I back what was the look what Ah, page for this board. Lines I think Chase back. is confused because there's nothing wrong with this computer. It's like a fine computer. It just needed a little bit of TLC, a little bit of, you know, cables reconnected. I'm surprised you no, guys threw me such a softball here. No, the look Chase gave me had nothing to do with you. It was just something we share sometimes. Oh, okay. Got it. Perfect. Yeah. It was just a personal thing. All right. Well, that's no problem. You know what? I'm so confident that I'm going to go ahead and run a benchmark here. That is very exciting. Uh, oh. Now, hold on a second. Oh, here. the rules. All right. Okay, Linus, we'll be right back. It looks like you're trying to figure something out there. Give us an update in a minute. For everyone just joining us here, this is PC Tech Support Challenge 3. Linus facing off against Anthony in the battle to fix a PC that has numer numerous errors. Innumerable, you might say, except <laughs> you might... Not say that because there's a finite amount. But uh, for anyone just joining, the rules involve uh, them trying to fix this PC. If they miss any of the errors, they're going to get a penalty. Uh, there are some bonus challenges that I believe none of them have found yet. Is that right? There was there was one to do with the the riser kit that we're not going to be specific about. But yes. So I don't believe any of the bonus goals have been found yet. Is that correct? Okay. All right, uh, let's head over to Anthony, actually. And Looks they're like only allowed doing... to use hardware at their workstation. Oh, yes. And then 
as when they get into the benchmarks, they have files available to them. I don't know if Linus is going to be. Uh, he's he looks like he's really raring to get into these benchmarks, and I think he's going to run into one or two things that might make that an issue for him. <laughs> All right, take us away. Take us to Anthony, Alex. Hello, Hello Anthony. People are saying Hello. this is pre-recorded. How can you prove it isn't? Um, what happened today, today? There was a Surface Pro event. Also, there is a liberal minority government for which we only <laughs> have a couple of seats to go that we don't really know yet. Um, <laughs> what else? Um, for the Canadians, that'll uh, that'll maybe convince. <laughs> for the Canadians, uh, here's my watch. It uh, it says that it's 1:38 p.m. on Wednesday the 22nd. So there you go. <laughs> oh. Now, what have you found in the back of your case there? Uh, well, I found that the crucial drives, uh, the SSDs here, um, they were very much interfering with the power supply to the point where I'm not quite sure how they got it in to begin with, um, probably with a lot of effort. So I've removed that, and I dug out the, uh, uh, what do you call these, 2.5-inch drive sleds for the back of the motherboard here. And uh, off we go. Oh, I pinched a cable. That's cool. Actually, that's probably fine, but um, let's not do that in a tech support challenge. <laughs> tech support challenge. We should have had a we should have had a theme song. Theme song? Could have whipped one up real quick. Tech support. What I'm now? just gonna make one unless someone says something. Just yeah, kidding. do it right now. No, maybe later. <laughs> I challenge you. That'll be to a bonus for the people theme to stick around song. Um. What? Let's cut off Anthony here for a second. We'll be okay. right back. Anthony? Hosts only. The glass panels. I just saw someone mention in the in the chat that you have to use the glass panels. Are we allowed to remind them about that, or are they just... Well, but it's the kind of thing where, like, this it's is... a rule. Like, this is pre-benchmarking. Like, it's true. Well, Linus is getting started. I mean, he's back in the BIOS now. But but this isn't, like, the benchmarking. This is the pre-benchmarking to see if things are working. Fair enough. I fair think enough. it's totally fair. So he can't. Well, if he runs this, if he runs a benchmark and we're and and he gets a result and he's like, "Look, this is my result," then we'll say, "Ah, ah, ah, Mister Tech Tips, not this time." You forget about glass panels. Also, the people want us to rap battle. That is definitely not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to a puzzled Linus. I will last one line. Hello, Linus. You look puzzled. Hi. Oh, uh, you. I'm a little you went back puzzled. To, you went back to the Windows installation because you miss Cortana a little bit, don't you? I am a little confused about the drive configuration here, to be okay. perfectly honest with you. Uh, it appears as though my boot, my bootloader is on the secondary drive and my Windows install is on my, well, my, my primary drive. So the bootloader appears to be on the MP600, and my primary drive is uh, a crucial P5 by the look of things. Um, or wait, maybe I've got it, I think I've got it the other way around. I mean, it's one of those things that doesn't, strictly speaking, prevent the computer from working at all, but it's not ideal. I do need to I get this say. RAID controller figured out. You did get it figured out? No, I need to. That's that seems important for sure. I mean, and so how much of a performance hit would you expect if you're not able to sort this out? Uh, zero. All right. You want a zero? You're expecting a zero performance hit? Uh, for having my bootloader on a different drive? Yes, I'm expecting a zero performance hit for that. Yep. All right. I don't know how else I can uh, instill a uh, lack of confidence in you except by kind of being. Have vaguely alluding to things that might hinder your performance. Don't worry, I got this, boys. Uh, okay. Oh man, no, nobody's should I, worrying. Should I download from deviceinbox.com? Uh oh. Yeah, that seems safe. Yeah, it seems perfectly safe. Uh, well, right. I'm going back to Anthony. So. All right. See you later. See you later. <laughs> Anthony, Mr. Young. Yes. You still appear to be cable managing. I'm attempting to. I'm noticing what? that there is a significant amount of uh, redundancy back here. Well, you want to make sure that the uh, you know there's backups on your backups because you never know when uh, uh, cosmic radiation will cause some bit flips in there. You know, <laughs> you never know. 
<laughs> yeah, that's true. You, you want to make sure your RGB patterns are, you know, just, just right, you know? Exactly, exactly. That's, Several milliseconds out, unacceptable. Yeah, no, no from it, absolutely not. Well, you know, if it gets out of sync. You have one fan display in blue, one of them is displaying oh red. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? Yep. Yeah, that would be so worst. embarrassing. That's the worst. It, it, it would basically be the end of your social life. <laughs> if you had one. <laughs> Anybody who comes over to your house and looks at your PC will immediately unfriend you on Facebook. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh. So I'm just taking yep. these out to remove the clutter. Okay, and how are you feeling? I mean, like, uh, you're, you're, you're still kind of needling away at the internals of the PC. How are you, yep. how, how far away do you, would you say you are from uh, running some benchmarks? Um... I mean, it's hard to say. I'm not one hundred percent sure yet. Uh, probably, I don't know. Like, give me half an hour. An hour is half an hour. Okay. What was it? Is, yeah, you uh, cut out there for a second. I'm not trying to. Oof. Oh, jeez. Is Linus like already built, like booting? Is that what he's doing? Like, like I don't. No, no. We asked Linus the same question. To do all this. We asked Linus the same question. I mean, there's a. Uh, there's a plethora of issues. Whoever sent this PC in for repair did not treat it kindly. No, they Espe didn't. Especially when they installed the wrong RAM sticks. Well, which I mean, which it, actually it, it, that's not dangerous. It's just stupid, you know? Well, it's, it's stupid rude. that you can do that, not that you did it. It's stupid. Just to be clear. That you can do that. Oh, yes, the people are saying to brag about how you're one minute ahead of Linus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Although okay, was, I'm a minute ahead of Linus. I was going to say, uh, you, you know, you're not going to be able to rely on that little little sneaky little timer trick you, you pulled earlier. Twice! I was moving stuff around, okay? I'm just kidding. You, you know, if you hit the timer again, I won't hold it against you. All right, well, I'm no. going to return to Lil Sebastian. <laughs> Lil Sebastian. Hello, Hi. Linus. How you doing? Uh, I see that you're, like, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I see that you're doing something. <laughs> oh, I want to check uh, which are the Gen 4 capable M.2 slots. Pulling out the map. Yeah, I hope NZXT has it clearly labeled on here. If oh, they man. don't, when, then that's when pretty you're bad. Out, when you're pulling out the paper manual, the paper specifications listing for some things, you know, you know that you're in a bit of trouble. I don't know. When it's the ones that fold out like a map like that, you know this it's not going to be the most useful. Very what frustrating. Page? Yeah, it doesn't, oh, uh, it doesn't say which ones are Gen 4. Hopefully either online or it's just labeled on the board. So it's pretty clear that I believe the 2 terabyte drive is the, uh, the MP... Oh, no, it's not. Oh, shoot. I totally clicked the wrong thing. Uh, stop benchmark. Oh, well, that's easy. Okay, so let's try this one. What have you uh, discovered? Still, still possible they're in the wrong slots, though. Uh, I do have my games drive up now, though. So I've got my Minecraft installer and my Steam library. Perfect. You're yeah, going to need so that. Both of these drives are definitely at Gen... Oh, no, we do not want to update right now. Both of these drives are at Gen 3 speeds, so I just need to figure out if I have to physically swap them or if it's just a matter of uh, reconfiguring the PCI Express link speed in the BIOS, which you guys might okay. also have dinked with. Now, uh, resetting the BIOS you is still know. against the rules, right? Or did Anthony Reset what? Resetting no, the BIOS. you can do that if you want. I think it's fine. Oh. Wait. That, that was, was not against, the, that, rules that was against the rules previously. Oh. I'm not sure what... Yes, uh, never was. mind. I didn't uh, hear about anything about that this time. Chase? We'll, we'll talk to Chase. Okay. He's Chase! Gone. All right, see you later, Linus. Talk to you in a second. Chase? Is he? Oh, you're not Chase, Jake. you're Jake. Do you know if resetting the CMOS is against the rules? It was in previous challenges. All right, he's going to go find out. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go to... Linus, we're not sure about this resetting the CMOS rule, so just don't touch it for now. Sure. No problem. Okay, see you in a second. I just wanted to check in one more time. Yes. Before we go back to Anthony, I just want to check in one more time on, the, on these, uh, you know, what, what errors they've found so far, because now we know... Uh, Linus fixed his Corsair Commander, right? Mm -hmm. For the most part? Yeah. It looks like Anthony's rewiring the entire thing. They can reset the, the CMOS? 
Okay, we'll tell Linus that in a second. Oh, we should tell him now. All right, yep. we'll tell him right now. Linus? Yes. Resetting the CMOS is not against the rules this time around. Oh, okay. You can do it if you want to, but actions have consequences. I know about the raid configuration. It'll be fine. And so do I. See you in a second. <laughs> Let's let Anthony know. Oh, well, but he hasn't even gotten to that. It's fine. He might be on the assumption that you can't do it? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Anthony. What's up? We are obligated to inform you because we just told Linus that in previous challenges, while in previous challenges you were not allowed to reset the CMOS in the, in okay. the, on the motherboard, mm -hmm. in this one you can. We can. Because yeah. in the third movie, all the rules change. All the rules change. Ever see Rise of Skywalker? Uh, I have seen it. They just threw a lot of stuff out the window. In the whole sequel trilogy. Can this start being a Star I, Wars stream right now? I liked the first one. The first one was okay. Yeah, it was It was fine. It, ha it, was it had fine. the bones of a good trilogy that <laughs> it turned out to just, they didn't get enough calcium. I can't believe I successfully just transitioned this stream into a Star Wars stream. I love it. Well, subscribe what to Carpool Critics. On the prequels, subscribe to Carpool Critics. Not, it's not oh, right. Carpool Critics anymore, Anthony. It's They're Just Movies. <laughs> they're Just Movies. They're Just Movies podcast. Subscribe today. Okay, we'll we'll get back to you in one second. All right, so the fan controller, the Corsair... Uh, wait, built-in fan controller and the Corsair Commander. What's the difference? Is there a difference between the fan controller and the Corsair Commander? Yes. Well, the built-in fan controller is on the motherboard. Yes. Oh, gotcha. Do we know if they found that? Um, you, you, I believe Anthony did. I mean, it, it seems like Anthony's going to find everything uh, with the amount of time that he's spending uh, rerouting these cables and plugging them in all sorts of which ways. What I think is going to be interesting, though, is that Linus has yet to swap his power supply, and that's where a lot of Anthony's time has gone. That's true. And it's going to be because he might be able to just get away with it. Like, it might not shut down. But they're running a 3080. I, I, Linus has ran some uh, storage benchmarks. But he hasn't yes. run anything that's going to really, uh, you know, require some processing power yet. Yeah, once that time spot comes off. <laughs> so they're going to, because they still have to do a Cinebench benchmark. Yes. They have to do a Time Spy 4K extreme. Yeah. That's going to be. And they have to run a Minecraft benchmark. Is yes. that correct? Or they just need to run Minecraft. They, they need to get in the game. They need to get into the game and punch a tree, Chase? That's all? Who came up with this? I thought it was going to be at least a dirt hut. Can we change it to a dirt hut? Yeah, they have to build something. They have to, oh. like, build a, build a, they have to, like, build a I replica see. of the Notre Dame or, uh, chapel or something. Something complicated. Anyways, they're definitely not going to have to do that. All right. But, uh, yeah, I feel like in the hardware, in the hardware section... Wait, Linus is pulling things out. All right, let's check oh, in. Yeah, let's let's check, check in. in. Linus. Lil Sebastian. Hi. What are you? What are you? It looks like you're fiddling around with things you really shouldn't. I mean, that's that's a, that's delicate hardware. You know, you guys say that you're not supposed to be trying to mislead me, but then you mislead me. This is definitely something that I need to do. It's more that you're doing things that uh, obviously look uh, somewhat, you know, like you you could drop that drive. Something dangerous could happen. I'm yeah, not going to tell I you what I'm Anthony's be doing. All right. I think okay. I'm going to be all right. I'm moving my Gen 4 drive into the Gen 4 slot so that I can get the correct benchmark results here. As long oh. as you're using your uh, fancy LTT store screwdriver, then you're you're good to go. Of course I am. I haven't yeah. even been asked to plug LTT store in this stream. And look at me. Never leave home without it. <laughs> yeah, when am oh, I going to get one of those, Linus? I want one. Yeah. I Alex is it. an engineer. Oh, this is annoying. Well, I guess this cover's not going back on. All right, Why not? Because it's not, because there's a heat sink. I'm not putting it back on. You don't like heat sinks. Besides, it looks cooler this way. Okay. Well, you can't even see it. It's behind the GPU. Actually, since I'm in here, I might as well fix the power button. I've had to keep reaching in to hit the hardware buttons over and over again. Uh, I don't really know. Annoying. That's part of the difficulty. That's part yeah, of the thing. No, I don't think it is. I think oh, that, I think that just putting them back is probably best. I was just waiting to do it later. I already knew they were off. Well, how do we know that you're a real PC tech support technician if you're not willing to use a screwdriver to short pins in order to start a motherboard? Is this a power LED? Yeah, this is, oh, damn, the power LED He's was actually even, in right. Just the, the disrespect. Ah, my mic! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, I'll get that fixed. All you right. know, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm actually, I'm disappointed in you guys. I thought this was going to be harder. Why do be you keep saying us? disappointed in Jake. I have... We, look, all, everyone on the stream, we can okay, all shift blame problem. to someone I else. I bet this isn't even a problem that was supposed to be on the thing. One of the pins in the audio uh, header is pulled out. Well, that's just that's just realistic. That's just the way things come sometimes. So I'm gonna fix it. What's that? But I, I, I bet that wasn't even supposed to be a problem. I'm just. Chase I got says that that's not supposed to happen. I get you that. You're I right got about that, that attention to detail. That should be worth bonus points. I found a problem you guys didn't even know. It wasn't you here. are gonna be you are gonna be promoted at Best Buy, Linus. Thank you, thank you so much, Riley. You're moving up. You are truly a wise and benevolent god. <laughs> Chase says we've already we've already been at, at it for like an hour. That's not true. Forty five minutes on the dot right now. All right. So that's besides, why that, that just shows you you can't trust Chase. Yeah, and besides, if Chase says we've been at it for an hour, I mean an hour is the minimum that I'm going to be billing at Best Buy anyway. So there's nothing wrong with taking <laughs> the whole hour. <laughs> Wait a second. All right, let's go ahead and all right flip this on. Like I was expecting, I was huh? expecting the front USB to be broken or something or like, you know. Well, you know, just working. Maybe it is. We'll yeah, have well, to I see. Don't think so because I'm already maybe, using it, smart guy. Maybe at the end of the stream we'll find out it was a Mac the whole time. It was a Mac Talk to you in a second. Time. See you later. All right. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, Hello. how's the spaghetti? Has it lost the a little flavor? It has firmed a little bit. It's cooling. Well, so, you know, uh, al dente is actually the way you want pasta to be. You don't want it to be too pasta, I should say, for the Americans. We say pasta up here in Canada. Yes. Did you yeah, know that? Yeah, so, you know, that's, that's, I, I that's, know. that's true. I, I do like some al dente. Uh, you know, it's, it's coming along. It's getting a little better. <laughs> you know, this is still a rat's nest, but that's basically what you get with RGB, unfortunately. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that because the cables are kind of going in every direction. Uh, but, yeah. That's, I mean, it's uh, looking pretty nice, we, though. I think we're ready to get the power supply back in there. Yeah, okay. I do have to say, you have spent a lot of time dealing with cable management. It has been a problem. <clears throat> <laughs> He's not happy about like, it. I can't get at most stuff because the cables are in the way. Mm. And, uh, you know. Oh, do you God. think that we should have given Linus larger fingers for this challenge? Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. Give Linus larger fingers. Let him figure out what it's like to have large fingers. Wait, how would you, you know? wouldn't you want, I feel like Linus has like maybe a tiny bit of an advantage with his tiny little. Yeah, his, his baby hands are a legitimate advantage. Little baby hands. I feel baby like, hands, uh, right. but I mean, it certainly hasn't stopped. Ah, you hit the timer again. Uh, Anthony, uh, good <laughs> gravy. Okay, let's put that thing on the ground or something. Yeah, or put it just, in let's, the let's ground. Let's make it a foot so pedal or something. Is that wireless? <sighs> See, that's that's what happens. I'm like, I'm moving around, and that thing's got no resistance whatsoever. So I don't even know that I'm pressing it. Oh, it's not a it's not a mechanical switch. It's not a mechanical switch. It's linear. Oh I don't understand. Gosh. I don't what? understand why people like linear switches. What kind of a PC tech support challenge is this? We don't even have a mechanical giant timer switch <laughs> <laughs> from a giant's keyboard. Chase, what? Oh, he should have given... Chase is apologizing to you for not giving you the giant novelty, non-linear mechanical keyboard switch. Ah, as well he should. <laughs> and then giving you full instructions about how to use it in Latin. What the hell? <laughs> All right, let's go back what? to Linus. Whoa, Anthony's just discovered something. What? what? Oh, this... Wait, how... Linus is, is saying is something, this... but I can't hear him on the mic. What? Okay, should we check back in with you? Or are you are you just like, are you hurting yourself in your confusion? Uh, there's a <laughs> lot of confusion right now. Yes. Okay, we'll check back. So wait, in what, with what you. is what? it? What? I, I'm actually curious. It looks like, like I don't understand cable. what it is either. Yeah, like, I think at the factory they managed to tangle these up. <laughs> like, bit, like, oh no, they're <laughs> actually. A bit flip hit it, and it got messed up, or a, a cosmic ray. That's what you call. That's what you call a fifth dimensional uh, power supply cable. It's the oh, intersecting hang on, hang with on. other dimensions. It needs to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's the tesseract of P PSU cables. No. All right, I'm no, gonna go back right. to Linus. He's doing All weird right. things. All right. Hopefully you figure that out, Anthony. We'll be back what? in a second. What are you doing? 
Uh, Minus. I have a bit of a problem. My system is not posting right now. Uh oh, really? what did you do? Is this is this graphics card here for me to use it? Uh, it's what? not a very useful no. graphics card. Yeah, what what is yeah, that? Wait, what no is that is graphics the answer. card? Where where did you even was get that? Was he supposed from? to have that? It was on the side bench. <laughs> It was right next to all the other stuff for the tech support chat. That's your breaking rule number or whatever it was. To only use the things on the what? bench. No, I'm not. It's right here. All, all my other stuff's Is right here. Is this a disqualification? Absolutely not. <laughs> so it's not. But, but I'm uh, yeah, like, that's, why did you move your, for your use? Why I'm did you getting, move your GPU? I'm getting a VGA post error. Um, and VGA. I'm a little confused because my graphics card has been working fine up until now. What did you do before that error started? Well, I moved my NVMe drives, but the only reason I can think that that would matter is if there was some kind of like a, a bifurcation setting in the BIOS, and I didn't see anything like that. You know what I could do? do let's try another slot. Do you, do you think you just borked it? I really doubt it. Moving an M.2 drive around should not really bork anything. It unless looks like yeah, but like... Did you tickle the GPU in a bad way and make her go zap? <laughs> Anything's possible, but... It wouldn't be the first time. Seems pretty unlikely. Well, that's why I grabbed that GPU that was apparently there as a, as a testing extra piece of hardware next to all oh, the other man. hardware. An astute, uh, an astute viewer on Flowplane just uh, suggested that you should have used a Gamers Nexus mod mat and included an anti-static wrist strap. So that's something to think about. That would have been a pro move for sure. <laughs> Although we have our own mod or mats, they're not mod mats. No, they're they're desk pads. They're yes. not those type of mats. Different. Yeah, Gamers I'm still Nexus getting still has something on us. I'm still getting a VGA post error. All right. Well, that hopefully you figure that out pretty extremely soon. Extremely strange. We'll get right back to yeah. you. I have no clue oh. what's happening, Linus. If that makes you feel any better. Are you saying it like that? I feel like there's something hiding there. No, I legitimately just don't know what's going on. I think he might have killed his GPU. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, good luck, Linus. See you soon. Uh, I was just going to ask, is it the power supply? No. Because he didn't switch out the PS the, the 550 for the 850, right? It, but that like, wouldn't give you a VA, VGA error? Because he didn't do anything that would have drawn enough power at this point for it to be an issue. So it, why it else should would be he fine. have a VGA error? Chase, is do we have any information here? But I mean, this is this is the nature of the game here, you know. Like we set we set the the playing field, and then life's chaotic. You never know what's gonna what's gonna. What's that? We. Okay, so apparently these systems were run were put through their paces and made sure. They made sure that everything was running okay. Well, yeah, it was running okay a couple of minutes ago. But I'm assuming that you put in the like real RAM sticks before you did this? He says yes. <laughs> you work on them backwards. The PC's turned around. Dad jokes, I need to stop. Ah. So this is a bit of insight for the viewers. Apparently the way that these systems were tested was they set them up completely fine. They run a ton of benchmarks to make sure everything's, oh, Looks like Linus has his thing yeah. back up. But well, hold on, hold on, hold on. They 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 run the <laughs> benchmarks, they make sure everything's good to go, and then they one by one break components and switch out components and cause issues yeah. so that they know that they there is it is possible to get it to a stable state. So you know, the the the, the playing field's fair. To Linus? Yes, to Linus. Linus, it looks like you figured something out here. Hey guys, uh, well no, all I've figured out so far is that I think my GPU may have actually died. Oh. <laughs> His uh, GPU is not actually in the system. I I'm on the onboard <laughs> graphics right now. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to figure out if I have my crystal disk mark thing figured out and, and that, that kind of stuff here. Unfortunately, so, I have a new problem. What do you think could have happened? My, oh, he says, go ahead. I, I, yeah, I have a new problem. My crucial, P5 is now not showing up, which is not what I expected because both of my NVMe drives showed up before I swapped them between the two slots. Um, oh, you swapped them because of the uh, PCIe specification? Yep. I see. 
So does it seem like something's wrong with like just the PCIe in your computer right now? Um, yeah, that could be. And if that's the case, then it is possible that there are pins bent or tape on the bottom of like a couple of pins in the CPU or something along those lines. That is a possibility, and that was going to be one of the things I was going to explore soon. But it that, is um. That would be a very nasty thing to do. It did work before, but I don't know if it was actually working at the correct link speed. I didn't check the link speed for the GPU. Oh boy. Although I guess. So that's a PCIe 4 GPU, but it would have had... Oh, I think I just figured it out. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you soon. All right. <laughs> he said, see you later. Oh, wait. Okay, so viewers. Yes. D I, what I think happened... Enlighten us. Did Linus reset his CMOS? So what I'm thinking happened is that that's a Gen 3 riser, and it would have reset to Gen 4 when he reset the CMOS on the PCIe slot. Right? So now he wouldn't be able to use that riser with that GPU because it would just not work. That's what I think is going on. Oh, but he did put it in the slot. Maybe, maybe yeah, he just he actually it, broke his motherboard. He put it directly in the slot. He broke his motherboard or the he GPU? He might have actually just broke his motherboard. How do you know it's the motherboard and not the GPU? Uh, because there's issues with the SSDs as well. So. Oh. And how would, how would, how would he have broken it? How would he have borked it? I, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. The people are saying that I'm giving them hints, but I actually, like, this shouldn't have happened as far as I know. Yeah, we That's might <laughs> actually be running into a technical <laughs> like issue here. Like, you might have actually just broke it. <laughs> Chase is giving a hesitant nod. Okay, so if Linus actually broke it. Oh, wait, we're back on Linus. So, Linus. Hi. Yeah. What are you looking at? I'm looking at my Core i7-11700K. I had thought maybe, I because I never checked actually what CPU was in here, I thought for a while maybe you guys gave me a 10th gen CPU and it didn't support PCIe Gen 4, but that is not the case, evidently. Um, so we've, nope. been, we've been informed by uh, management. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stream management that if a component is actually broken, you will get a replacement. So... Uh, don't uh, don't be afraid. Don't be worried that you're going to lose the challenge because of this. Oh, I see. I, can I tell him that? Yes. I already did. Okay. Okay. Although also like, if you broke it, that's not excellent. If you're a PC tech support, it doesn't well, look I didn't good. Do I'll just say that. I, I was on camera the whole time. I didn't do jack. <laughs> I mean, you definitely did. It was jack. when it well, it was working, and then you touched it, and it stopped working. Oh, it could be just <laughs> shoddy workmanship. All right, we haven't right. checked in with Anthony yeah, in a we need hot to go minute, to so let's uh, see you later. Anthony! Uh, how's it going? Uh, it's going pretty well. How are you? Oh, pretty good. I mean, so, we're fine, but we're not in the middle of a, you know, excruciatingly stressful challenge. Is it? I don't know. Is it stressful? Like, Anthony seems pretty chill. Anthony always seems chill, though. Yeah. It's impressive, given that he hasn't booted his computer yet. I know that you're just trying to rattle me, but I am also a little bit concerned that Linus has gone YOLO. Gone, gone yellow? YOLO? YOLO, not oh, yellow. Oh, gone YOLO, on. and just like, yeah. Kind just, of sort uh... of racist a little bit. <laughs> what? Did I hear you? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I feel like I heard something that wasn't actually said. Um, <clears throat> what are you working on right this second, Anthony? Uh, I'm getting the power supply back in. Um, okay. God, these cables. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, boy. Mm. Deep in thought. Contemplating. How many... Uh, well, I mean, I guess you wouldn't know until you start... Uh, until you fully reassemble everything. But uh, how, how many errors do you think you've gotten in, in, the, in, in relation to the total? Like, how many... Uh, out of the total errors? Like hardware errors? Yeah. I feel like I'm addressing most of them. I know that there's still uh, the um, or fan orientation at the top that I need to deal with. What's what's up with the fan orientation? Uh, I know that I haven't addressed all of them yet, but uh, you know, one thing at a time. 
No, well, that's a great lock. attitude. A lot of people think they have to fix everything all at once. In in with PCs and in life, and that's just not the case. Will these doesn't lock? work? In between in between uh, giving people a hard time about fixing PCs and talking technical nope. stuff, we're gonna give some uh, little life life lessons. Life lessons. You know, you can never have too many of those. Like, don't go and buy a super expensive blazer when you can just find one at Valley Village. Do they have or Valley Village in the at States? at the LMG rack. Um, you know? You guys know, know what Valley Village is, though, right? I think using context clues, they can figure it out. The thrift store. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Sally Ann. Okay. Oh, yeah, and, uh, what's, Linus is yeah, taking out a Linus new... Doing? All right, see you later, Anthony. Uh, what are you doing? I think you, this GPU is dead. Did you run over to Newegg real quick and uh, get a, get a get a new GPU at the NCIX auction? Bell bought me uh, Bell brought me one, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Bell's always looking out for us. Yeah. Oh, I think that we need a time delay here. Aside. So, especially with the delay? shortages, it's um, normally about two three weeks to get a new GPU, maybe a month. <laughs> uh huh. And, uh -huh. and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yes. Well, yeah, particularly no. Particularly for a 3080. They'll RMA it for you, but it'll. It, she takes some time. Oh, that's true. I had a that's friend okay. that got a 3080 and it died, or it, it was just DOA. Switched over to my Zotac card here. Died a gaming forever. Let's see if this puppy fires up. I'm hoping for the best. I didn't see any bent pins in the CPU socket or anything like that. Lights. <clears throat> yeah, we got All lights. All of before. the lights. That was not the issue. But it it doesn't it doesn't hurt to have some lights. I know that much. I mean, it's it's gonna look nice, you know. At, at the very least, Linus, if you bricked if you bricked your entire PC, at least uh, you know you can use it for decoration. Now, I did change some GPU-related BIOS options. I turned on above 4G decoding, and I turned on. Um, oh bloody hell! The name escapes me now. Um, Resizable wire. Yes, thank you. Whew, I'm a little little I'm a little frazzled. So it is possible, however unlikely, that one of those settings is maybe not correctly implemented in this NZXT BIOS because there should be no problem turning on either of those things with an RTX 30 series card. And it's possible that is preventing me from posting because both cards failed to post now. So Are I'm you gonna go ahead and revert those. Right now? I'm not. No oh. Trace? Switch away from Linus. Be, be right there. See you later. Oh. Linus might be Chase right. Chase is saying that Linus might be right about resizable bar being wrong. Apparently that was not tested. <laughs> so for the previous for the previous for the previous tech support challenges, was Linus involved in Yeah, I know he yeah, but he was he involved in validating the the PC? Okay. Was well, he going to get bonus points for that, or <laughs> just necessary to make it run? Wait, before we switch back to Anthony, so I think I have some answers about what they've all gotten. Okay. They both figured out the Corsair Commander thing. I believe they both figured out the fan controller not working. Mm -hmm. uh, Anthony seems to have identified that the radiator fans are flipped. He just he only said, "Oh, I've got to solve the radiator fans," but he yeah, didn't, just flip them. He didn't. He didn't say specifically, well, okay, yeah. All right. He knows that he has to do that. I haven't heard Linus say anything about that. I haven't either. So, But he's got eyes. He's probably figured it out. He's got eyes, but that doesn't mean you catch everything. But we'll see. We'll, we'll check in with him. Although we can't ask him specifically if he's caught it. We need it. Can we, get, can we ask the cameraman to get an angle? Not that we can. All yeah. right. Oh, see you later. Whatever. And then wait, wait. The underpowered PSU. Linus appears to have not actually changed his PSU yeah, still? Yeah, he has not. People are saying that that might have been what killed the GPU. I highly doubt it. He didn't do anything that would do it. Because having an underpowered GPU would not kill oh. something. Oh, Linus is back into uh. Windows with the GPU. Linus, uh. you're back in Windows. Yeah, my annoy level is pretty high. It looks oh, like dear. resizable bar support is broken on this motherboard. <laughs> and it causes a no post. <laughs> 
So here I was going for an edge in my benchmarks and I ended up wasting like 15 minutes diagnosing a GPU that's perfectly fine on a motherboard that uh, frankly shouldn't have the dial in the BIOS if it doesn't properly support the feature. Love yes. you, ZXT. You heard it here first. Fix it. Wait, so this uh, is, is this Chase's fault or is this NZXT's fault? It, it uh, would be NZXT. This would be NZXT's fault. It's and also when I say when I say Chase, I don't mean necessarily Chase specifically. I mean the complex of people in the background that he represents. Yeah. Chase is just one man. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting in the way of my password here. You were part of the build team. Okay. Let's distribute the let's distribute the blame. There are at least three or four other people who are tangentially connected. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm happy for you, Linus. I was actually concerned that you killed your GPU. Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> now, something well, I'm still a little confused about is that I'm still not running at PCI Express Gen 4 speeds on this, what I think is the Force MP600 drive here. Well, I don't think that's any reason to be angry. I didn't say angry. I said confused. Oh. <laughs> well, that was just preemptive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get angry later. Well, uh, so now you're on your path again, or are you, are you still uh, hitting some roadblocks here? You think? I'm still a little. Well, I'm still a little. Uh, I'm still a little Obviously confused. Obviously, there are roadblocks. Yes. Yeah, I I don't know what's going on with these drives here. Well, Godspeed. Thanks, Anthony. What's up? How perfect do the cables have to be? <laughs> <laughs> Not that perfect. I don't I have mean, the cable guide back in. The cable what, sorry? The cable guide. Like the, the, you know. The grommet? No, not the what's, grommet. What's a cable guide? The, um, the trough where you, uh, throw all the cables. I just removed it. The, uh, the channel. Yes, yeah, the, the channel. The chummy. Yes, the chummy. The chummy majig. Yeah, that's the that technical thing. term I think is the chummy and jig. The chummy and jig? Yes, both together. Yeah, it must be a must be a new newfieism if it's uh, chummy majig, I guess. <laughs> yes. You put the chummy over the fish and grits. You anyway, guys are both from <laughs> Are you concerned at all about shroud? It, shroud? Are you concerned that it's not going to post when you finally get to hitting the power button an hour later? Uh I mean, slightly. However, I don't see a reason why it wouldn't at this point. I've already looked at pretty much all of the things, you know. Uh, there's probably something I haven't seen, though. I'm always open to uh, looking like a moron. <laughs> so is your, uh, is, your, is your game plan right now to kind of, like, absolutely make sure... I mean, is this a Steve, Steve from Gamers Nexus strategy that he employed in the... In the first one, where you just make sure everything is absolutely good to go off the bat before you even boot anything, and then hopefully by the by the end, you know, by the time you get actually Windows running, it's like pew, pew, you know whatever sound effect you want to put in there for a smooth operation. Pretty much. Pretty okay. much. Well, it's it's clear that you know, the it's a bold strategy. We'll see if it plays off for him, <laughs> works out for him. <laughs> well, I'm hoping. Quote. See what my hope is. Linus will be less thorough. Mmm, interesting. And he'll have to spend more time going back and troubleshooting. You think Linus is gonna kinda go quick right off the bat and try to barge his way through uh, troubleshooting instead of kind of like being, being a bit more zen about it, which uh, it seems like is your strategy. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm not necessarily saying that Linus is gonna, you know, mess everything up. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, if I were rushing, I probably wouldn't have noticed a couple of things. So, uh... Wait, like what? Yes, specifically. Uh... Like the RGB thing? Hmm. Um, that wasn't obvious to me at the first, because it's just a rat's nest. But uh, the fact that I resolved to fixing that rat's nest allowed me to understand that we didn't need that much RGB. Okay. Well, I yes. think we have some things to discuss, Anthony. We uh, will check in back with you in one second. Not one second, but you know what I mean. Wait. 
Because something that Anthony just said made me think. Uh, he is taking his time. Well, I don't know if he's taking his time, but he's spending a lot of time getting these cables just perfect, you know? Yes. And I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's even going for aesthetics, but he's like, you know, he's trying to plug everything in properly and make sure everything's good. And he thinks that that allowed him to catch something that he might not have otherwise if he had gone a little faster. But as far as I can tell, Linus is Linus fixed everything with the cables fairly quickly. Well, but he's missed he's missed the big one in the basement. What's that? Oh, the power supply. Yes. Yeah. Wait. So when when he when Linus goes to replace the power supply, that's going to be quite a big it, yeah it's step be for a him to recable everything. But I am genuinely concerned, though, given that I am Team Anthony. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of software issues with this, mm. and those take a while to tease out. So kind of stuff like, I don't think he's swapped the drives yet. Um, L- Anthony hasn't swapped the yeah. uh, the He hasn't, the P- he hasn't looked at the RAID config. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't uh, remember what else there is. Did he figure out? But. Well, he's got his two SATA SSDs mounted in the back there. They weren't mounted there before. I think they originally were in the drive cage, right? Uh, yes. Under no. the front? Yeah, he completely removed the drive cage because I think that the new power supply wouldn't really fit with it in there. Is is Anthony really is he is he going for aesthetics here? Because I don't I don't believe that aesthetics are going to give you a ton of bonus points, right? Is that right? Yeah, oh, no. Chase has this says there's one bonus involving using IQ software yeah. and LED strips, but that has nothing to do with the cables. No, oh one man, thing that's... well it's a it's you know this is a strategy for sure. One thing that's going to be very interesting is that one of the problems that's with these computers is that the GPU is at 50% power, which if Linus doesn't catch it, might mean his computer doesn't shut down and he never notices the power supply. Oh, I didn't even put those pieces together. I mean, we didn't. Which would be very interesting. We didn't go through all of the uh, errors that exist in the system for the for the audience because you know you're supposed to discover it as the contestants discover it, but. You're right. The and GPU on for both of them is set to fifty percent power. Yeah. So, so it's it might up to not them. Shut down. It was really up to them to kind of like have the knowledge that with an eleven seven hundred K and an RTX thirty eighty and you know, whoever whatever else you got in the system, you're supposed to understand and know that five hundred and fifty watts is probably not gonna cut it for that stuff. Yes. I think we have to go to Anthony. Anthony. Yes. You, dis- you yes. discovered something. Uh, yes, I did discover something. I discovered that there is some additional RGB in the box. So that thing that I had to take out may not have been take outable. However, I don't think that it's necessary. Um, what what so thing are I you referring to there? Actually, bother with that. What? What thing uh, that you took out? What What is the thing you're referring to? Uh, one of the RGB controllers. Is there a brand name for that? Oh my God. Is this sponsored by Corsair? No. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we were talking about the same thing there. Uh, um, lighting node. Um, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. You, you, I got what I needed. <laughs> is it sponsored by Corsair? It's not. We're sponsored by Intel, though. Thanks, Intel. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of Corsair stuff in here. We got a Corsair case. We got all Corsair fans. We got Corsair cooler. Hey, we got hey, they're not paying for Corsair. any of this. Let's just settle down. Well, Jake built a system, and you know he's a fanboy. Uh, he is. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, so Wait, you took you took the Corsair uh, RGB hub out. Correct. Okay. But not the Commander Pro. The Commander Pro is all I need. Uh-huh. What did you say about the Commander Pro? Uh, pretty sure it's a Commander. Well, it might not be a Commander Pro. It's a something or other, though. I need to get to the bottom of this. But it has just enough channels to handle all those fans and all those RGB. So, um, yep. So, wait a second. <laughs> so wait, you're thinking of what's plugged into your system? Disregarding everything in your case and just installing the Commander Pro, or what are you saying? Oh my God. Okay. This was already installed. Yes. That's all I need, at least for what's in the case right now. If I were to install these, ah. then I would need to reinstall one of those hubs. Oh, gotcha. I may or may not do that. It depends on whether or not I think that Linus is behind. <laughs> I feel like that's okay. one of the extra tasks. 
Well, unfortunately, we can't give you any information on that front. But we can check with Linus because he appears to want to say something. So see you in a second. Hello. You look impressed. I got, got my got Windows updates. You're either impressed or frustrated. Yeah, I mean, the start menu had the option, you know, restart with updates and restart not with updates. And, I, and I, you clicked I, the... I said not with updates, and it was like, ha, <laughs> good idea. Microsoft After thought you, that was a very funny joke you made by yeah, clicking that. Yeah. I, so I misdiagnosed something earlier. I thought that my... Um, I thought that the install was spread across the two NVMe SSDs, and I thought uh -huh. that was going to be causing some problems for me. But actually, all the boot information is on the main system drive. So the only thing I'm a little confused by now is now that I've verified that it is, in fact, running at PCI Exp Oh, I've got an idea, actually. OK, well, at any rate, it boots without the crucial P5, so now we know that for sure. Um, I might just have to give Crystal Disk Mark more threads. Because I've got it running at Gen 4 speed. I verified that using hardware info now. But I'm not getting quite the results that I'm supposed to in my randoms, uh, random reads. And there's a sequential writes. There's a, there's a handful that I'm not getting the results I'm expecting in. Huh. OK. Well, you got yeah. a bit more work to do to try and uh, get to the bottom of that then, I guess. Apparently. The good news. All right, we'll is check back in. Oh, good news. The good news is that everything about the system, from a hardware standpoint, is basically at the point where actually, you know what? Before I fire this up, I'm just gonna pull that extra stupid SATA cable while I have easy access to it. Um, so everything from a hardware standpoint is done now, and I can, whenever I'm waiting around, I can be cable managing and getting it, getting it cleaned up. I've decided not to put the cable mod GPU holder thing back in here because I don't see any reason to add an extension to this graphics card when I was already having some difficulty with it. Um, well, I mean, except for looks. Yeah, it was never a requirement. It's not in the rules. So I don't really think you can dock me for it. Yes, that's true. All right. Then All right, we'll check later. back in in a minute. Good luck. Little so does he know. Yes. We can dock him for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of the bonuses is vertical GPU. That's so. right. Well, and specifically, because I... Did you say this case comes with a built-in vertical GPU mount? I thought yes. somebody said that. We didn't, oh, but you didn't oh, buy oh, it. Oh, it's, it's an optional upgrade, and you have to buy it. Right, okay, oh, so think... that's not here, but we are using a special, uh, 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 specific... A cable mod, third-party one. Is that right? Yes, although I think that Anthony is very confused about this because he appears to have disassembled his GPU riser and wants to put it in the case properly, but I guess that we now know that we don't have those parts. So let's go back to him. So, wait, 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 wait. Mr. Young. Okay. Yes? What are you doing? <laughs> you always come in, a Alex, you always come in with very questioning energy. I feel like it's like I'm sorry, you're Anthony. judging. How's it going, Anthony? There we go. A little positive. Oh, it's going. I'm a little confused. Yes. Which is bound to happen when troubleshooting uh, computers. Computers. Computers? Yes. Uh, is it has yeah. something to do with this, uh, this G GPU riser? It is. So what are you trying to do? I was with the sure GPU? there should be another one. What? What are you trying to do with the GPU riser? Yeah. So, I feel like there almost certainly needs to be a different riser, but I don't see it anywhere. Okay, one second. We need to talk to Chase. Chase, what are you saying? Mm. Yeah, we don't want him to... Right. Okay. We, so we do not have the official uh, riser kit for this case. All right. Anthony, we've been told to inform you that they did not purchase the official Corsair riser kit and that you are supposed to use the cable mod one. Oh. Or if, if you want to use it. Do I use it? It's, it's I mean, um, the, the, only, the only official goals are, are these, uh, you know, those benchmark goals that we 
laid yes. out earlier. So it's up to you whether you um, want to use the riser kit or not. I mean, I could just as easily use this bracket to hold the GPU upright. Well, like not upright, but like <laughs> in the slot. That would be pretty funny. Um, just just prop it up. No, that's not what I mean. Oh, what I, I mean is the GPU here. But this is an anti-sag bracket. Mm. At least I think it is. Uh, yeah. Maybe I don't care. I might not care. I mean, as long as it runs, you know. That's true. That's a thing. I don't. I don't see like if. Um, let me put it this way to you: If the customer said, "Hey, I've got this thing that I just bought to put my my GPU vertically." Then I'm going to tell the customer, "Hey, this is the thing that you should. This thing, this is the thing that you just bought. You should probably return it and get the right thing." Right. In the meantime, let's get you up and running. Well, you know, this is the PC tech support challenge. I think you uh, you should be following your instincts on on the way to oh, let's, tech uh, that support. Support the tech. Let's switch over here. Okay. Good luck, Anthony. Linus, how Hi. is your SSD benchmark? Great. I have slayed the. I have slayed the, the benchmark. The dragon. Oh, okay. Did you Dying. figure out what's the problem? Uh, the problem is that Crystal Disk Mark needs to be configured to use more CPU cores than just one oh, for Gen 4 that SSDs would do it. to perform their best. Now, how is your Cinebench doing? Uh, I don't know. We're about to find out. This is my first run. I'm not expecting it to be a problem, though. I already tuned the maximum turbo. I already reapplied my thermal compound just in case there's anything stupid there. I haven't actually checked to make sure that my pump is powered. Um, now that I think about it, let's find out. Uh, yeah, it is. So everything there should be fine, but we'll know in a moment. 14,772. Mm. We're done. Nice. Fortin Adventure is good. And the minimum score is fourteen six hundred. So yeah, you you, believe it. with that one you are, uh, as I'm long golden. as you as long as you can run that with the uh, side panel installed. That is. Oh sure, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. all, right. all right. He's all right. in trouble. That's not going to make a difference. Yeah, the people are saying no panel. I figured that this was all just testing at this yeah. point. Yeah, I'm assuming official that you runs. wouldn't that you wouldn't try to submit this as a. All right, fraudulent all right, results. All right, all right, I Good forgot. Gravy. I forgot. I got this. Don't you worry. Don't you even worry guy. about a thing. All the Linus don't. fans out there in the audience, don't worry. I got this still. Real nonchalant attitude. I have no idea where Anthony is at, but I'm sure I'm doing okay. And if I lose, well, I have I NZXT know. as a scapegoat. I would Because that really should have worked. <laughs> we can always just tweet angry tweets at them or something. I if it makes that. you feel better... Anthony also had a red herring because Chase didn't buy a part of the case. Didn't so. buy a part of the case. Yes. Uh, you know what? I yeah, well, uh, his was, case was missing the entire front section. I wish I <laughs> wish not nothing true. but the best for Anthony. That does not make me feel better at all. I okay, want. We'll, we'll tell him I you said that. Nothing but success for Anthony today. Nothing but As success. All. all right. We need to tell Anthony this right away. He needs to hear this. All Direct right. from the big man. Anthony? Yes? Linus wishes to tell you he wishes you nothing but success. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't catch that. Oh, okay, I, you just I didn't hear it. it. I, thought that, I thought you were throwing shade. No, that was from Linus. He wishes you I nothing see. but success in this, uh, in this little competition. Well, I wish, I wish Linus all the best. In his endeavors, both in this competition and in Man. life. Chat, chat liked that one. <laughs> Who? Linus? I've never heard of him. <laughs> I only know the Tech Tips Man. Do you know the Tech Tips Man? The Tech Tips Man, the Tech Tips Man. Yeah, we, could, we could go down the whole rabbit hole. Um, all right. So you're swapping the fans right now? I am playing with fans right now. All right. Careful. If play with fans in. You might get. Nope. Not. I can't finish it. <laughs> Swept. Burnt. Swerved is what I was thinking of because it rhymes with burned. 
You wanna you wanna riff on that a little bit, Alex? Nope. Okay. Let's uh, <laughs> let's let's return to Linus. <laughs> let's no. Let's check it. Let's check in with the with the list. All right. See, see you soon, Al uh, Anthony. What's your name? Anthony. You're Alex. Yes. See you in a second. Andy, are you rooting for me? Wait, you went back to Linus. I don't want no. All right. <laughs> we need to see where these guys are at. Cause like oh, yeah. Cause well, I'm slightly concerned that Linus has missed a lot of things. Right. Has just barged along enough that the penalties that we have for missing those things will not add up to yeah he's i mean he's very very confident that. obviously he's like oh, i'm gonna have it no problem but i wish anthony the best you know what we have a checklist yes, yeah yes. we have the checklist i, I mean uh, of the heart are we allowed to let the viewers know all of the errors okay all right so it appears that so linus reset his bios yeah um but i believe that one of the errors was that xmp was not set yeah, he fixed that. Okay, fixed it. All right. I didn't know whether he had gotten to that or not. But, I mean, li regardless, Anthony hasn't gotten into it because he hasn't booted his yeah, system yet. Yeah, yet to open or to turn on his computer. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, um, obviously, Anthony's replaced the PSU. All this, most of the hardware issues, they've both figured out, except Linus has not identified the radiator fans flipped the wrong way yet, right? Yeah, I'm very curious what Anthony's doing right now. I think that's maybe a necessary step to flip the fans. Oh, Linus's camera Anthony. is gone. Hello. Hello. Anthony. Uh, what? what are you doing to your radio? Why are you there? going in the top there? Uh, I can't get to the uh, rear screws for the fans. Were you surprised by this, Alex? <laughs> uh, I no follow-up questions? Oh. No, that sounds what? annoying, honestly. It's bad case design? Yeah, that just... Is irritating. Whoa. Um, <laughs> Throwing shade at, uh, wait, who made the case? Corsair? Yeah, Corsair. Those are actually a pain in the butt. To uh, a little bit. But you know, to be to Corsair's credit, you're supposed to have this, like, set up ahead of time. So. Wait. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah but I'm on, taking that out. on some of the cases, you can undo the top so that it, the whole thing flips out. Uh, Hold on a second. I don't Linus's. see that here. It looks like it's riveted in. Oh, maybe there's screws. Either way, I had to take out the same number of screws, I'm sure. Actually, Riley, I just realized something. We have an overhead oh, cam. Oh, we have that an we've overhead cam. Used. We haven't been using that at all. Yeah, it doesn't really Chase, show us anything. Chase, why do you need to remind us about this? Come on, Chase. We'll give them both overhead cams. We're giving Chase a real hard time through this <laughs> whole stream, but what are we going to say? Tell you, follow you on Twitter? That'll make it better, right? Too much Contra. Follow Chase on Twitter, at too much Contra. What is Contra? If you, and how if can you? I know it's a game, games, but how can you have life? too much? Oh, you're playing too much Contra. That's relatable. Hashtag. You've never played an NES game. You've never played Contra. All right, uh, yes. Anthony, we'll check back in with you in a second because I have something to say, Alex. That's private, just to you. Yes. And the viewers. <laughs> <laughs> we had some people in the chat speculating that Linus's camera cut out for a second. Was he cheating? It's I not. Something I would put past him. Basically, I, I every competition it. that he's what, involved in. What could in. he have done? He was putting his side panels I on his computer. Know. I don't know, but he's Linus. He owns the company. Who knows what he's capable of while the while the lights are out? <laughs> we're we're not getting into this, Riley. Okay. All right. Conspiracy let's, theories? I'm not about them. All right, but it, it was out. It was out for like maybe a good uh, thirty seconds. I do not believe that the government has nearly enough competence to <laughs> pull off a conspiracy theory. Linus isn't the government. He's a private <laughs> entrepreneur. He I do will, not believe he'll that stop Linus... At, he'll stop at nothing to gain the, the money from those shareholders. <laughs> I do not think that he has the competence. We don't have shareholders, by the way. Uh, but, um, okay, let's, fine. Let's go, to, if you, if let's you, go to Linus. This is, if this you is have faith in him, all right, fly. here we go. Linus! Hi! Linus, one question. What? Your camera cut out. Oh. And we want I, answers. Andy what were was you doing? The battery. <laughs> what were you doing in the dark by yourself? I was putting my panels back on, putting all my PCIe covers in place. My system Being is now bad. Is, is now ready to be returned to the customer. I'm now rerunning my NVMe benchmarks here. You think it's ready to return to the customer? I think so. All I have to do is validate it now. Okay. Well, I mean, all my drives are showing up. Everything's your running. Drives it. are showing up. PCIe Cinebench Gen 4 was okay. speeds. 
Well, okay. Cinebench, we haven't technically run without the panels on, but I'm sure it's going to be fine. I mean, I'm I'm smoking oh, these crystal disc benchmarks. It's not even close. Dang. Beat these benchmarks? That, I think you mean double them. That does look pretty impressive. Yeah, I feel like that whoever created those benchmarks did not do a good job at setting it up. Yep. <laughs> But that's fine because. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, well, Chase. It's not but, about. I mean, you know, they were just trying problem. to make sure that it's running. That ain't that ain't there my a, problem, boys. There was a reason they were sending it in to, you know, yeah, get true. fixed. All right. The, the, this hypothetical customer. All right, CDM with panel done. One of my benchmarks is done, and here's another one for the books. Here we go. All right, you we're not going to watch the whole thing, but uh, I, yeah, we'll check in with you. What? I'm no, confident. I want to watch the whole thing. You want to watch the whole thing? All right, oh, go this ahead. Is just, what is this multi-course? It'll take that long. Thing. Are you guys? Are, are you guys? Do you guys have some sort of like, you know, fantasy going on where I haven't managed to fix the computer and you get to watch me fail? Is that is that what's what's shaking here? That's I dream about it every actually night. Actually, precisely what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's my fantasy. I mean, the funny thing is maybe there's something that I was supposed to have noticed that I didn't that I missed but maybe I compensated with my other tech skills you know what I'm saying like maybe I missed some CPU setting but you know by changing my turbo duration I have overcome I have overcome that problem you just kind of short took a shortcut past the yeah, issues that's right I, I go mm. straight to go collect my two hundred dollars because that's my hourly rate by the way uh, all right we're at fourteen <laughs> seven seventy three I believe that is v -v 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 validated. Is it? Yes. 14. That's true. Yep, yep. Okay, with the side panel on this time. Got him. So all right. Cinebench is in the bag for Linus. Big momentous moment. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Right. That is a momentous big dub. moment. That's now, a big dub. Chase just I'm said it's a big dub. So. 3D Mark, I'm coming for you. All right, here it comes. We'll check in with you in a second. I, I kind of want to just, so do you have it installed? You, I guess that's you, not a question that you know. Just Do you just want to watch me like blitz through the, the rest of the, the benchmarks here? Is that is that what you guys want? Because I'm down. I really I'm want to see down. what happens when you right. boot up 3D Mark. Okay. I'm genuinely curious. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> just got to just gotta fire it up here, you know? Wait, just, and make sure he runs the right one, which is time spy. Waiting a little minute here extreme. while it stream fires up. 4K. Yeah, it's getting yeah, time fired extreme. up. Fired up. 4K. All right, just it's running. Yep. Needs a needs this a is second. What I wanted to avoid. Okay. Sitting here watching. No, no, it's <laughs> it's running. Don't you doubt me, Riley? It's running. Oh no, hey, I'm not doubting. I'm not doubting. I'm just saying, you know, computers take a while to do things, and sometimes things don't run exactly yeah. the way you want. 3D Mark should probably be launched by now. Future Mark System Info Service. What are you doing? Well, end task. See you later, buddy. Uh, hmm. I see hmm. Afterburner is like kind of stealthily running on here. So we're gonna we're gonna un. It's at a 50% power limit. We'll deal with that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't I wasn't gonna run it without checking that smart guy. Uh, who, who are you calling smart guy here? Uh, so so you, you just fixed the power limit? You're both smart. I haven't fixed it yet. I'm still waiting to see what happens when 3D Mark actually launches here, which it is refusing to do. That's okay though. V have ways of making you talk. And is there some? Maybe someone else is on the Steam account. Initializing. No, I I just signed into my own because I didn't want to deal with that. Oh, that's that's, that's smart. smart. Wow. <laughs> he thinks of everything. This guy. I have my own thing. copy of 3D Mark. Uh, okay, wait, I'm Chase has like something that. very important to say. See you in a second, Linus. What's up? Yes. So he is wasting a little bit of time. Inst he's installing it? I thought he was trying to run it. No. Right? He already. It looked like that was just a play button. He already has it installed. But what, Alex, Why what's your prevailing... Why is he restarting? Uh... <laughs> When in doubt, turn it on and off. You you seem like you uh you were wanting to witness firsthand uh I something happen with three D Mark because you think that's gonna happen. Yes. As soon as he tries to, well, he might get the three D Mark interface up and running. I think it's gonna be. What you mean? Even like just the program thing where you click the benchmark. No, marks? like the second that he clicks go. The the second that he clicks a benchmark. Yeah. Are you gonna go back to Linus? So for the viewers, yes. he currently has a five hundred and fifty watt power supply. 
in his computer, and he has not figured out that that's what's on the go. He did figure out that Afterburner had the GPU set at a 50% power limit. Yeah. But he has not changed that yet. And as far as I'm aware, I mean, looking at the error list... Okay, one second. Let's go quickly to Anthony okay. before Linus. Anthony. Yes. You're about to turn it on, I see. Yes, and from what I hear, I am far behind Linus. Who uh, said that? Uh... Well, there's no sound isolation. Like, he's got ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Linus and Anthony are uh, technically in the same room. All right. I, we need to go back to Linus, though. But our set is one big thing. Hi, Hello, Linus. Linus. Did you fix Hi. the power limit? Uh, yes, I fixed the power limit. Okay, excellent. So you should be good to go. Well, apparently I have to... Uh, wait. What are we running? Time spy, time spy Extreme 4K. Oh, well, yes. apparently I don't actually own this one. That's fine. <laughs> I don't even care. I got well, this. Well, uh, can, we can tell you that Lina, or Anthony is not currently running it right now, so you should be uh, good to go. No, no, that's fine. I'm just going to buy it. They're on different, I know he's on uh, different accounts. Oh, he's going to buy it. I need to not look at my payment wow. info real quick here. Flexing. Yep. Um, Linus is just about to flex on stream. I just flexed $10.99 Canadian Just cents. dropping it like it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I think it's not, I think it's not a very big flex. You know? I mean, do you know how many lattes that is for me? Uh, I, I have that no idea. That you could have bought me instead? Look, I spend all my money on benchmarks, <laughs> not fancy coffee. So I wouldn't know how much a fancy coffee costs. I went to the car dealership, <laughs> looked at the Lamborghini and said, you know what? No, 3D Mark instead. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. The Lamborghini was this big. <laughs> you know what's important? <laughs> yeah. You know what's important in life. All right. Maybe maybe one day there will be a Lamborghini benchmark that we can use. We have a BMW one, don't we? Oh, I'm installing Time Spy Extreme DirectX 12 Stop. benchmark for gaming PCs. I'm at 48%. 48% installed. Wait. Does he run? Chase, you said it was already installed. Oh. <laughs> All right, we need to go back to Linus. <laughs> he made it more difficult for himself. Took off. Okay. You guys hey, took Linus. off. Did I break yeah, your we game? Yeah, we were gone. We just had stuff to do. Yeah, that's um, no problem. I got stuff to do too, like winning. Actually, I have no clearly. idea. Anthony might be done for all I know. Yeah. Anthony, you booted. Oh, we're... We tell, you got to tell Linus. It's we got to tell Linus. See you oh, later. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're okay, Anthony, go ahead. No, no, we have to go back to Linus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back. What? We're, we're, we're with you, Linus. What in the world? We're switching, switching flip flop, flip flop. Well, there's a lot happening Snip, on both snap. sides, and it's difficult to deal with. It's true. No problem. I've never, no problem. I've never used a stream deck before. Did you know that, Linus? Shit, this I is the demo. Either. This is not the fastest way to run this. I mean, shoot, just, this is the He's in his demo. own world. He just lives life on a different level than us. Hold on. Okay, benchmarks, details. <laughs> we got to not include the demo here. That is not necessary. We're going to just run Do the benchmark. Not this is not a demonstration. This yeah. is a execution. It's no demo. We're not in demo mode here. Well, we're in demo mode. We're demolishing the competition. I don't like it. I'm not competitive. All right. I, it's, just, it's just, you know, I feel bad. You know what, Riley? That's true. I never did get a competitive vibe from you. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, I see. I don't even know how that's an insult, but we're not going to get into... We're not going to get well, all that. You found like, me in a dumpster. I mean, you, clearly if, I, I have low standards. If you ever <laughs> wanted anything, then I might have gotten a competitive vibe. You know what I mean? That's true. It, yeah. I, I'm just kidding. Riley wins at lots of things. Riley has hey, a good Hey, I mean, I found, I found this jacket, you know, at this rack that you got from the thrift store, and it's pretty. it fits me great. It actually you know? does. It looks really good on you. There's a lot of stuff you can find on the side of the road that's, uh, you know, perfectly great. My dad, <laughs> my dad used to pick up chairs from the side of the road all the time. Our house looked good. Fantastic. You know what? My uh, my new chairs from my backyard. I found them on the side of the road. They're really nice. They're all You're my metal. dad. They're all metal. <laughs> they're they're painted black. They're not even rusty or anything. I was like exactly. Score. Do you have any idea it's how much go. furniture costs with the like 400% tariffs from furniture on furniture from China right now? Oh my gosh. Don't Furniture's even get me started. expensive. I want to Yeah, get... you might as well just find a computer on the side of the road instead of doing all this work. Yeah. Well. <laughs> This is a pretty good computer. I don't think you'd find a computer that's running this flawlessly now that it's all fixed on the side of the road. Now that it's completely fixed. Yes. Every now that it's component. Completely fixed. Back to normal. 
You guys keep <laughs> you keep kind of going on about this. Are you guys just still mad that I didn't put all this the memory in? This is the PC. In? This are is you, the PC tech support challenge. Are, are you just mad that I only have 16 gigs of RAM? Because you can take off points. I I beat the benchmark score. I'm running you at. Did. I've got XMP and 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 the bonuses say bonuses are for finding the errors. Okay. Right. So I don't actually have to. I, I, they're not necessary to complete. Oh, if you complete them. Well, you know what? No. <laughs> I am sticking with my two sticks. No, the of bonuses. Memory. There are specific bonuses uh, in re in regards to certain things, but you do have to identify and correct all of the issues. I want a bonus for that audio connector that was broken. Okay. <laughs> I we'll want give a you a bonus, bonus Linus. That. Yeah. All right. I'll make sure that 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 gets tallied up. One point. So. It seems like that Seasonic power supply is just, it's just doing it. It's doing okay. It's, yeah, I mean, like I was wondering because like he's fine. running the benchmark. I didn't notice anything like it stuttering or anything, or like a low frame rate. Although we're we're watching that monitor through a camera through another monitor, so you know it's not the perfect uh, example. Oh, he has an. Ex he wants to say something. I, I want to go oh, back to Anthony. Okay. Anthony's we. Anthony. Hello, Anthony. Yes. What you got here? What's uh, what's what's shaking? I'm just poking around the BIOS for a minute. Have you found anything interesting in there? Uh, nothing's really standing any, out, to be honest. It looks any like treats, any plate. goodies. In fact, I should just load the defaults. And uh, <laughs> people are. Oh no! I'll say that. Save that, that and then check. do my thing, just to be safe. So how are you? How are you feeling about um, the hardware itself? Are you are you fairly confident that you? Well, I mean, you're booting it up, so I guess you'll find out. But how how are you feeling so about your work so far? I mean, I think that it's quality work, but fast work. I don't know. Is this the type of work? Is this like the same type of ethic you were using while working for Geek Squad? Pretty much. <laughs> uh, we didn't really gut and rebuild PCs though. Um, that was more of my previous job and that was a little bit more ad hoc. I mean, okay, so so we're not supposed to really give you give each other updates uh, on each other, but I have to let you know that a moment ago Linus was, you know, he just took a second to floss in front of the camera. So if you mm. can find a way to kind of put in a, uh, an equally, I don't know, what do you call that? Taunting move <laughs> at some point? I mean, no, you don't have to do it right now. I'm just saying. No, no, right. I'm just okay, putting the side up the panels panel. back right, on. Right, yeah, yeah. All right, fair enough. Let's All right, we're going to check back, back in with Mr. Linus. L. Linus, uh, that, was some, that was some moves. I, mean, I, ran the, say. I ran the 1080p version of the stupid Time Spy benchmark. Oh, <laughs> shoot. That was a big waste of time. That could, that's, oh, that could dang cost it. me. That could cost me. That, I mean, I don't, I don't want to say anything, but this that's might be okay. a tor tortoise and hare situation. That's and, okay. I'm super confident, You're one of them, though. for sure. I'm super confident, though. Also, did you take off the front panel of your computer? Yeah. I feel like you should put it back on. I feel like this looks really good. But right I there. believe that one of the rules is that you have to have Gorgeous. all the panels on. No. Uh, do you? No. I thought it was just the side, side panels. Side panels. Oh. I mean, let's check yeah, here. Fair enough, I guess. I mean, look, if I've got an RTX 3080, this case, no offense, Corsair, oh. is not the best for optimal, you know, super extra great airflow around your GPU. Correction. So. Correction. The rules do state all glass panels must be attached slash closed when running benchmarks. Hold on a second, because I've got the rules right here. Rules. Yes, so do I. Uh, if you miss any errors, it's a small penalty. There are bonus challenges. Use only the hardware at your workstation. All critical files are on a flash drive. Here's Those the are the rules. rules. These are the rules. Okay, so I, I got to say, Chase, <laughs> the that's true. And I have that same list of rules without cool. the bit about the glass panels. Right. But there was a slide. There was a PowerPoint slide with the glass panels thing. So actually, do we care about that, this challenge or at all? This no? case, look, okay. at, look at the panels. aesthetic. It's All the clearly, rules about panels are off. It's clearly designed to be run this way if you if you want to. Look at it. It's awesome. Oh, Chase says keep the side panels on. Yeah, of course the side panels but have it's to not, be on. But Nobody it's not runs part a computer like that. Look, you got all your dust filtration right here. All right? I mean, hell. We're talking about the front panel. Let's Chase. just lose the top panel, too. Why do we need that? Why do we need that restriction? <laughs> we don't need airflow restriction. 
No. Okay, you do not have to have the front panel on. We've got it from head HQ. All right. All right. So let's go. let's go back over to Anthony. Cinebench, how's it going? Um, it's going. I'm just. This is a preliminary run. I I, I don't have the other side panel on. I just realized, but I just want to see where it goes. Is this single core or multi core? We're looking at multi core. It looks like. Yeah, it is multi core. Is it, it, we're only doing the multi thread, right? We're not doing single. Yeah. Core. Yeah. That makes sense. We don't want to stand. Imagine, yeah. We we don't want to be stuck here for it's another hour. Oh now, my goodness. Oh. I guess we should tell Anthony that Linus has gone rogue and decided that the front and top glass panels do not have to be on. Right. So you can take those off. Uh, yes, apparently. Because oh. it's more effort to well, convince Linus that he needs to put them on. <laughs> more effort to try and get My Linus to do something. My score is significantly lower. XMP is enabled. It's in a bench? Yeah. That was your Cinebench uh, test? It was running a bit lower than you wanted? Yeah, it is on. Hello? He's deep in thought and concentration. Let's, uh... Yeah, it looks like Linus found something. Well, I don't know. Here, cut, cut back to just us for a second here, Alex. No, I want to be on Linus. Oh. What are you showing Why don't us, you want Andy? to talk to me? Why don't you want to talk one-to-one, -one, Alex? This is what really funny. What happened between funny. us? I don't think I'm supposed to be uh. able to run this benchmark with a 550-watt power supply, but it's working fine. Hey, did I mention that Seasonic is a regular sponsor of ours? They make great, great quality power supplies. We've got a freaking Focus Tier GX 550 running an 11700K and an RTX 3080. Now, the thing I'm checking right now, because even though I might be able to complete the challenges with this power supply, I wouldn't in good conscience ship it to a customer. Um, the thing I'm checking right now is to make sure that the ROG Strix 850 that I have here and this Focus use the same pinouts because then it's a super quick swap. I can just throw a new modular power supply in and I don't even have to rerun any of the cables. I just got to check if they're pin to pin compatible. So uh, a hack that I figured I would use to figure that out is uh, I would check the compatibility on Cable Mod's website. Oh. Yeah, I was uh, genuinely disappointed that your computer did not shut down when you put it up <laughs> 3D Mark. We were, uh, I, yeah, I we had, were waiting. I was so ready. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, okay, so RT series is Asus and Seasonic, but uh, I feel Seasonic a little robbed. Web. I feel a little robbed of a spectacle. Yeah. Linus, just for the lols, would you be able to run Prime95 and Firmark at the same time for us? Uh, I, I can try it for you, but I actually did not see that in the uh, goals here. So I'm not going to waste any time no, doing I... it while I'm on the clock. Okay. Uh, Anthony <laughs> accidentally hit his button. So you can pause it, run can... that, see what happens. No, I'm, I'm just good. curious. Wait, no, I'm what? Good. No, don't pause it. I'm just going to I'm just going to complete it. Now, hold on a second. You guys are asking for a minimum score of 8,100. Oh, perfect. OK, then we're good. Oh. What did you get? I got 8,175 in Time Spy Extreme 4K. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> Excellent. So you, you found the power limit in Afterburner, and you're yep. using the 550 watt power supply that you were supposed to replace. Yep. Extreme. What kind of a tech support challenge is this? The kind where I win. <laughs> All right, uh, time to fire up Minecraft here. Now, this link right. is broken right. on the desktop here, so we're going to want right, to go well, ahead and uh, figure we'll that leave out. You, we'll leave you for a second, yeah, Linus. Goodbye. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Yes. Was that supposed to... Is this valid? I need to, I need to understand what's going on I here. think it's valid. He got... Like we say benchmarks, do the benchmarks. He did the benchmarks. But the 550, I got to say the 550 watt power supply is one of the errors listed. So does he do have, have to replace penalty? it? He got the score. He noticed the 550. He did say that he was going to swap it. So he did. Oh, right, right. Yeah, he's looking right now at the cables. He intends to swap it. I'm not sure whether he knows that he has, uh, you know, a somewhat sizable lead over Anthony at this moment, given that yeah. Anthony hasn't discovered the other errors with the Gen 3 and Gen 4 SSDs being in the wrong slots. 
Although that's a pretty he might have quick swapped fix. those right at the first at the start. Oh, you think remember. so? I don't know if he did. I don't. Yeah, because he you might wouldn't not you wouldn't really know until you went and tried to to bench yeah. Crystal Discmark. Should we ask him? Sure. Anthony. Yes. Um, how's it going? <laughs> um. I guess we'll see. Uh, I just set up the Minecraft benchmark. Uh, I might have to overclock the CPU a little bit. Uh, Why do you say that? But you're just getting to the oh, end. Oh, no, there it score? is. That uh, is significantly better. Four, 14,886. 14,886. Okay, well, that's a passing score. Looks yeah, like your Cinebench um, is good quickly. to go. Quickly screenshot Screenshot that, that sucker. So have you ran? Have you run uh, Crystal Disc Mark yet? Not yet. Do that now. Oh, was it a success? What was what? What, what then? Did you success to Crystal Disc Mark? Did you success? It? Yes. Did you success it? Mm, we'll see. We right, see. We we'll shall see. Indeed. Did you do anything with the SSDs yet? I kind of sort of reseeded the uh, Corsair MP600. Um, I'm seeing that the read speeds are not quite what I'm looking for. So, oh boy. Don't tell me there's an... We're not going to tell you anything. Well, I know you're not going to tell me anything. What are you thinking? What's your thought process right now? My thought process is that there's a M.2 slot that I am not aware of. Oh my god, why is it an accordion? Roadmap, whatever you call this crap. <laughs> I mean, those are the funnest ones. Why have a book when you can, like, it's like a treasure. It's like, a, it's like you're watching a Nicolas Cage movie. Yep, okay. Well, Specifically called National Treasure. And that's it. All right, just a second. I want to go to Just Us. Just Us. Now you want to talk to me, Alex? No, I want to talk to the viewers. They're all saying that I'm giving too many hints. Okay. But but well, what's your response? I, I don't know. <laughs> I like giving hints. It, it makes I things mean, progress. To a certain extent, I feel like we have to give some hints because, or no, we, maybe we don't. I'm not. I'm trying real hard not to give any hints. I feel like that's my, I'm like a Tom Holland situation here. Where I'm just like letting leaks out all the time. No, uh, I like unless I really try. I like giving hints. I want to see Anthony's success. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're you're a you're an impartial, he's, not he's an impartial also, observer. He's here. also just quite behind at this point. He is, he is, and I wasn't totally sure if he'd found that yet. So as far as we, so the only thing left for Linus to do at this point is to run the Minecraft benchmark. Well, but he also has to swap the power supply, and I don't think he's done the fans. He has not swapped those around. Oh, that took Anthony right. quite a bit of time. So, but but this, I guess, this comes back to the same question we were talking about, where if he doesn't catch all of the hardware errors that are listed, but he achieves the benchmark results, does he? Is that a win? Yeah. What are our penalties here, Chase? Oh, he gets a penalty. Yeah. And and in the previous challenges, if I remember correctly, I don't I don't think we really addressed this this time around, but what they said in the previous challenges was that if you get a like the penalties aren't worth. Uh, overlooking like it's not worth overlooking the hardware errors in order to 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 get the benchmark result, and because the penalty is so bad that it's gonna screw you over. So what are we doing? What's the rules here? Couple minutes. Okay, so each error that they do not correct gives them a couple minutes. So two minutes added to their time. Two minutes. Two All minutes. Right. But a bonus is five minutes. Have either of them completed any of the bonuses so far? We have Windows set to power savings plan currently. So uh, the idea is that they were t supposed to take it off the power savings plan in Windows. Yeah. The other bonus one is using IQ software and LED strips, which I also believe did, did Anthony might have added that. But I'm pretty sure Linus did not. I think Linus did not. Or, I mean, Anthony did not add it. He was just he did not. Like, he was ah, thinking I'm about good it. If I don't right. add this in, and then the third bonus option was to keep the riser kit installed that we were talking about that cable mod riser kit. Although in fairness, I would put the GPU in the slot because it's going to run slower with that riser cable. 
Are you sure about that? Yeah. That's a that's a Gen Even 3 just, riser cable. Oh, right, 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 because it's a Gen 3 riser cable, and this is a Gen 4 connection. Ever? Yeah, I mean, from yeah, what I understand about those riser cables, they, they're not supposed to affect... Oh, wait, we need to tell Linus what his thing is that he needs to do, right? Oh. What, the Minecraft thing? He knows what he has to do in the Minecraft. Once you, once you load the world save, then the challenge is going to be self-explanatory. Okay. There's going to be a bucket and a rock, and Linus. you're supposed to put it in there. Hi. Just You're kidding. booting up Minecraft. What are you seeing? I am trying to figure out how to get the... I, I've never... I don't play Minecraft. I am trying to figure out how to take the punch-a-tree uh, thing that's in my USB folder and import it into my game. I found a guide, how to locate Minecraft Java Edition World Saves. Um, it's apparently supposed to be in app data, but it's... Ooh. Oh, Minecraft. Hello. Hello. Okay, we've got progress here. You um, found the save? I have found the saves folder. That's step one. I guess, yeah, perfect. Okay, yeah, punch a tree just goes, it looks like, right in there. Perfect. So now I'm probably going to have to relaunch the game. Let's see if I can quit the title, but let's find out. Hey, you gonna play it within that uh, in that tiny window there? there no, no, yeah, make it to. bigger, please. What are you doing? We can't see anything. Look, yeah, I, I was trying to. What figure kind out of a showman challenge. are you? I was trying to figure out the challenge first. All right. Okay, and that's I fair. I think I'm in pretty good shape here. I just gotta figure out what the hell sodium is and figure out how to turn on full screen. Bloody hell! Where is the full screen option in here? Oh. Well, whatever. There. Problem solved. Okay. All right, we're so going to come back tree. to you in one second. Collect the wood. All right. Uh, cactus, oh, he's got, never mind. don't count. Punch a tree, collect the wood. Punch a tree, collect the wood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to do... Wait, so I can't fly, so that's inconvenient. All right, uh, we're going to let you try and figure this out for a second. We'll be right back. Um, we got some people in the Flowplane chat suggesting that the PSU error should be worth more than two minutes. Yeah. Because because this is, I mean, like, is, is the fact that he was able to get everything running and everything's just, like, totally fine. He didn't sw swap the fans. He didn't replace the power supply. Uh, there's some other things that he didn't do in the hardware, I believe. I don't know. That might be it. But regardless. Yeah, people are saying in the chat that 15 minutes is the power supply swap. Some people are saying it's a 20 minute penalty. Because because Anthony actually yeah, I mean that's that's fair because Anthony went through the whole process. But is the goal to equalize or is the goal to you know see that Linus I think that, got it running regardless of I think we so can just have a democracy. The chat um people just put in how long you think it should be. I mean some people are saying 45 minutes 10 feels I'm seeing a lot of 10s. Linus lost power. <gasps> Did he just lose oh, power wait, just wait. now? Okay, let's go back to him. Linus, Linus, what just happened? What has happened? I finally, uh, I finally <laughs> ate it on the 550 watt power supply. Minecraft, <laughs> Minecraft was what defeated it. Hey, now, I, I mean, just... it's it's a it's a very very popular game. There's a lot of uh, you know people out there. I thought I was out of the woods, so I never actually double checked these pinouts. Let's, uh, compatibility, here we go. All right. Wait, so, so you, you were trying to look at the compatibility and you just stopped GX. and were like, I don't need to do this, I'm better than this? Well, I didn't need to. It's not about being better than it. It's just if I don't need to, I, I don't need mean, to. Well, all right. Focus. But the regular people do, is that what you're saying? Focus GX550 <laughs> works with both SE series and RT series and ROG QRS. That's probably a V. Uh, wait, W. -X. why is ROG not on there? Oh, here it is. ROG Strix 850 Gold White Edition, SE Series, RT Series. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I don't even have to change out the cables. This will be got quick. Got lucky there. I did not get lucky. I got knowledgeable. Yeah, that was actually pretty smart. I don't think I would have thought of that. <laughs> you would have just tried to switch out the cables right away? Yeah, I would right have just swap all the cables. Yeah. Yep. Google, okay. it's very, Sorry. very powerful. You can't see what I'm doing, can you, Andy? So I'm just taking all the cables that are wired up in here top. already, and oh, I'm going to do a quick, I'm going to do a quick swapperoo, and then we're going to chuck this power supply back in there. We're not going to have any more power issues. 
Okay, well, let us know how that goes. We're going to Anthony. Anthony, you got a hey, score on your screen. Yep. How does it make you feel deep inside? Huh? <laughs> you got a score up on your screen. How does it what? make you feel? Um, bad. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Mostly because Microsoft Edge decided that, okay, it just stopped. Well, it decided that it wanted to install partway through this test, so. Um, Edge? Microsoft Edge? Yes. No Should, one's ever been mad at Edge is before. It, isn't, isn't that supposed to already be installed in the system? Why was it? Windows update or something. Oh my gosh. So it's messing things up. This, these two speeds are fine, the right speeds. But read is way down after the first test, so I just need to redo those tests, I guess. Hmm. Redo them. Unless we want to call that good. No modifications. Uh, what modifications are you talking about? I'm not talking about anything. I didn't even. Alex, did you? I think Alex said something. I said nothing, at all. You okay. He is well, very soft spoken, though, so you, sometimes it's hard to pick up. I did <laughs> move the uh, Corsair MP600 to the appropriate uh, M.2 slot. That's why. That's why we're getting these high scores. Uh, however, wait. Which drive? What? Which drive the did MP600. you move to? Which? You cut out. Sorry, which drive did you move to which now? I moved the Corsair MP600 that was installed in the lower M.2 slot to the upper M.2 slot where the uh, crucial P5 was. Right. Um, and okay. moved those around. So that was the modification that I did. And yeah. I, I uh, you know, full disclosure, Anthony, that was the modification I was referring to. And we weren't sure whether you had done that or not. So. Okay, yes, I have done that. Um, Fair enough. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just a result of Edge. Uh, I'll need to redo these tests. So, uh, We will luck, tell Microsoft how, uh, how upset you are about this. And a See you later. <laughs> okay, so that answers the question. I was actually getting worried because I thought that he had not switched the SSDs yet. No, he swapped them, but he needs to enable more cores in Crystal Disk. Ah, yes. That's not even something that was listed as Yeah, an I error. think that he can get the scores that he needs without doing that. Face is saying he potentially could. He, he's supposed to, they're just supposed to figure this out. So it's not part of the official rules or goals that you assign more cores to Crystal Dismark. That's just, that's just basic well, not basic, but that's computer stuff that these highly technically proficient individuals yeah, okay. must know. Okay. Would you do that? Would you know to assign more cores? I don't use Crystal Deskmark very often, but I do normally just give it all the cores that I have if I'm trying to test an SSD. Give it all the cores you got. Yeah, I just completely destroy it. Well, it looks like Linus has his power supply plugged back in. All right, let's, let's go check to him. back in. Linus, it looks like you've got your power supply plugged back in there. Sure I do. See lights, pretty Didn't lights. Burn her down. Sure do. All good. You're you're not going to burn down the build corner. Nope. Well, I mean that's always good. That's that's right. usually the goal. Let's get our Minecraft fired up here. Okay. Uh, and okay. then what happens? Are there any settings that I can? Come on, full screen, please. Actually, I'm going to go back to Anthony for a second. You're more than welcome. Steam link. Okay, so I'll do it. Anthony, how is your crystal disk mark? Uh, it did not come up to speed. I am wondering if the original tests were, in fact, correct. This is an uh, old NVIDIA driver, too. You're, you're, you're wondering whether Edge had any effect or whether that was just kind of a annoyance. I'm wondering if the original tests were these, uh, these results on the paper here. Uh, we're done correctly. Whoa! As in, he, we're done on both machines, and this is what we got on both machines. He is throwing doubt. I don't think this SSD doubt. has quite the same performing uh, performance. He's casting doubt on the initial testing configuration, um, I'm wondering just going if to they say, did not do it properly. I'm just going to say, you can beat that score. <laughs> well, this is the score that I have. The, the score is much higher in most parameters, except for this here. Wait. Um, oh, and I'm so thinking there, you're, that you have is a passing score and almost okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything, almost everything passes except for a couple of tests. That's why I'm wondering if the drive might be slightly different. 
and this was just run on a wait a sec wait a second somewhere. camera person can you zoom in on those on those scores real quick uh oh anthony can you tell the camera person to zoom in on the scores real quick okay all right gotcha yeah we're we're just uh we're just we're you're so close oh man okay uh, i think you yeah. can figure it out yeah. i can figure it out yeah you can figure it out so Life you're telling me that there's more to this well computers are you know there's lots of moving parts and uh electrons flying all over the place so many things are going on in there i'm sure there's something you could do Linus is trying. Okay, one Anthony, second. Anthony, we'll be right back. How to turn on cheats. Linus, I've Anthony. heard that you're trying to cheat right yeah, now. Yeah, you're not Anthony. You're Linus. What are what you are doing? doing? Well, there's nothing wrong with enabling flying in Minecraft. That's a perfect. You're on camera. To... What? You can't fly. Well, what do you mean you can't fly? I can do whatever I want. Oh no, I don't want to lock the difficulty. Chase. Accessibility settings. Hold on a second. Chase. What? Accessibility. Can he fly or no? <laughs> He's going to come over. <laughs> there. Everyone wanted you to have a mic anyways. Oh, well, yeah, I should have had a mic. Uh, just series. for the audience. Um, I specifically I specifically disabled the cheats on that world save. He cannot fly unless he gets in a uh, level editor and does it Wait, in a Linus third party. Wait, can hear you right now. Don't you know that? Oh, shit. He can't. <laughs> he can't cheat. Don't, don't cheat. Like <laughs> <laughs> All right. One sec. Let's go back to Anthony. Mike. Anyway. Uh, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you successed? What what what's up? Have you successed Crystal Dismark? Not quite yet. I am going to disable Windows security real quick. Um I know that this is not something that I should have to do. Sorry, right, Anthony, if you can hear I'm me. Doing. If you can hear me laughing, it's not at you, it's at something completely. I really I want hear you to give you a hint, okay, good. but I know that the chat will get really mad at me. What? I want to give Anthony a hint, but the chat oh. will get too mad. We probably could. I'd say we could. Okay, chat, can we give Anthony a hint? Yeah, let us know in the chat, okay? Well, you did, but then... Uh, ah, wait, People Anthony are saying give him a hint. Right Hold on, Anthony, we'll be right back. Um, the chat is saying that Linus can enable LAN mode, and he will he could enable cheats that way. I'm not a Minecrafter, but what do you think about that, Chase? He could. He could. Okay, apparently. If he knows about it, you don't think he knows. He doesn't play Minecraft. He only ever plays Fortnite. Save the world. Yeah, according to well, Chase, I Linus might... could just walk and find a tree way faster than he has like, wait, done is, all of is this. Is the challenge, just to be clear, is the challenge here literally just to walk to a tree and punch it? Okay, and Chase is coming back. All right, one more time, they guys. They can't hear us right now. No, I know, okay. We're, we're clear on that. So, Lance is wasting a huge amount of time because, like, basically he spawned in a desert, but the trees are, like, maybe less than a minute away. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. I don't know what he's doing right now. <laughs> So if he just started walking. <laughs> yeah, if he literally just started walking, he he would find some trees really quick. Um, oh, boy. He's probably already doubled his time in. Okay. He's, he's probably already All doubled right. his time Let, in the let's game. Let's go back to Anthony. A lot of people Oh, he's got, he's got a no-clip thing going on here. Go ahead. Hello, Anthony. How, how are you doing? Uh, we'll see you in a moment. Have you changed anything? I trimmed the drive and I disabled uh, Windows anti malware. So, all right. Hopefully that'll do something. Have that you might, done that might anything give you a little bit of in a Crystal Disk Mark? Uh, anything in Crystal Disk Mark? The settings appear to be exactly the same. Um, all right. The people are saying no hints, so that's all that I can say. Okay. Well. Some people are saying no. Yeah, most people are saying no hints. Yeah, there were a lot of yeses at first, and now there's a lot of no's. Okay, let's, let's just do zero fill and see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. What? I didn't catch it. All right, it. I just want to go back to Linus for a All second. All right, let's check in. What's your strategy now, Linus? Like, what are you doing? I'm trying to add a tree. Trying but to add what? a tree? I have no idea how to do that, yeah. though. I feel like you're... I don't know if that's Whoa. that's uh, that's breaking the matrix. I don't the think rules that's, say uh, punch a tree. 
So all I have yep. to do. It's true. All I have to do is add a tree. But the rules also say you have to use the world save provided in your flash drive. I did. Okay. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's not wrong. I started talking there hoping there would be something to save it, but nope. Okay, nope. There was nothing. Well, I mean, that's, uh, that's a strategy for sure. Uh, this, may be, this may take longer than figuring out how to enable flying. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. <laughs> Classic Linus, you know? He's trying to cheat so hard that he's just he's <laughs> he's, screwing himself these over. These competitions for Linus are All more about to do is walk. finding out a way <laughs> He's in cheat. the middle of a desert. It's a totally normal world. All that he has to do is just walk oh, one minute to another Linus. biome. Okay. So right now, as it stands, obviously Anthony is a bit behind. Hopefully he figures out the core thing with Crystal Dismark. Although from, his, from what he's been saying, I'm not super optimistic. Yeah, I think that he's treating it as if the test is the test. Yeah. As opposed to, you can just change the test and get higher numbers. But uh, as it stands now, what kind of penalties are we looking at for both sides? That's what I'm interested in. So the PSU, they actually both got that. So now yep. Linus, they're both running on the proper power supply. Linus, Anthony flipped the radiator fans around, but Linus, I believe, did not. We'd, we were going to ask him about that, but then we didn't. Yeah. So that might be two minutes. Uh... And then they got the rest of those. XMP, not so, oh, Linus got that. I'm not sure whether Anthony got it. Probably. Let's go to the Raid Zero drivers. They both figured that out. Afterburner. Yep. I'm not sure Linus is, or Anthony has had reason to look at Afterburner yet. So, I mean, I, there is actually quite a few penalties uh, that is on the table for both of them, even if they were neck and neck in terms of the actual benchmarks huh. being completed right now. So, I'm not All sure. Right. Let's go back to Anthony. Anthony. Yes. Anthony. <laughs> Hello? What's up? <laughs> He's like, I'm busy. Hello? <laughs> Hi, yes, we can hear you. Uh, what, what, uh, what benchmark run is this? Five or six? Hmm. No hints, though. Nope. All right. I'm going to go back to so, Linus. Oh, wait. Okay. What? Hello? Let me just... Let me just make something very clear. Yes. We're all listening. If I set these settings to anything else, these change. So what I'm yes. looking at right now are the settings that I've been using, and they are the same as the settings that are here. If I change to NVMe SSD, that changes what these are. If I change to Peak Performance Profile, that changes what these are. So if there's anything that I can change in here that has not already been changed, like not you everything is exactly the same visually as what is on this piece of paper. And also the drive that is on this piece of paper is significantly different from any drive that is installed in this machine. So I am 110%. Like, I'm getting kind of mad. Oh, no. So. Anthony, don't get angry. Please. All right, the... The, the people are saying, the ties have turned. They're saying hints. Just change the number of cores, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Number of, what, what do you mean? Available. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like in Crystal Dismark? Yes. Are you saying to change the thread count? Yes. Because that's not what's shown here. Yeah, let me, let me hmm? uh, maybe Chase should just talk to you. Yeah, All right, Chase, Chase, is, Chase is coming over. All right, All right we're going to go to Linus. Chase is on so, the yeah, scene. So oh, wait. All right, we'll talk to you again in a second. Well, you trimmed it. Come on. What are you doing, Linus? Linus I'm trying to figure trying out how to... to change the biome. Because that's Why? one thing I have figured out how to do. So <laughs> Linus. Why, why are you doing the this? The challenge is not to hack Minecraft. Well, like it's not. <laughs> it's just to punch a tree. It's literally Option. just punch a tree. How is this thing so utterly impossible to use? I, d I don't understand it. How is it not as simple as right clicking on shit and then it doing things? Uh, you know what? You know what's not impossible to use? Regular Minecraft, where you go in there, find a tree, and punch it. No, I don't <laughs> want to hike. <laughs> you want to go the opposite way. This is like this is like the ultimate tech nerd solution to a problem. Oh, Linus, what are we gonna do with you? Well, good luck. All right. Yep. Even if. 
it were one of the drives over here because okay all right we're, we're back on we're you we're back anthony. on you anthony what's uh what so Ch even chase is confused what's going on so that's the mp600 mm -hmm. that's the drive we're talking about here yeah yes one it. drive is yeah. missing but that is the drive that is supposed to be benchmarked yeah so i'm looking at exactly the same settings i don't know what you're talking about with regards to change the number of cores um, are you talking about this drop down here? Because if that's the case, then it says five right there. Are you talking about um, setting it to NVMe SSD so that we have a, num a higher number of threads in these random 4Ks? If that's the case, that's not what it says right here. So something broke down along the line. Yeah, something seems to be broken down. I think you can skip this one. So what? Now. Wait, what's the? Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, what's our problem what's here? What's the conclusion here? There was something wrong with the testing methodology before the challenge even started? Um, yeah, so like one of them is missing. That's probably on me. Like that's probably one of the, um, wait. Yeah, that's probably one of the SATA SSDs. I probably disconnected it on. Oh, okay. on Uh, yes. And what exactly? I mean, yeah, we're a little they are okay. In the right we're gonna let them troubleshoot a little bit here. Anthony, a Alex, I just want to ask you, if it turns out to be the case that Anthony's system is a little borked, <laughs> by no fault of his own, what do we do? Do we just uh, let him go past this one? I guess we ask Chase since he is the arbiter of this competition, but he is, but also Jake Belvance is over there and I mean he's got a head on his shoulders. There are a lot of people saying that it's the raid, but I don't think that's the problem because the it That's was not the, the drive he's benchmarking. Yeah, those aren't the drives that are benchmarking. Yeah, so there's number there's a number of drives in the system. There's the RAID zero uh which is set up on a, a pair of SATA SSDs, is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and then there's a Gen 3 M.2 SSD, there's a Gen 4 M.2 SSD, and that's it. So he's supposed to be benchmarking the Gen 4? All happening? right, let's just go to Linus. It All looks right. like he has something cooking. Linus. What, what? are you doing? Have you I, hacked the Matrix yet? I am trying to learn how to use World Edit. <laughs> I <laughs> do not know how to Minecraft. So, well, I mean, in, it seems like instead of learning how to Minecraft, you're learning how to uh, hack Minecraft, World which is not basics. Here we go. Found a YouTube basics. video. This is the how-to <laughs> basics. World edit the basics. Here basics we go, boys. Minecraft. Setting yep. a block. Oh yeah. See how that guy just walked up to that thing and punched it? Yeah, That's something can you can. W A S D is is our keys. Uh, you could block. use. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, people in the chat, you know, just you know, I don't even want to give you this, Linus, but people in the chat are 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 noting that World Edit is not something you just pick up in two minutes. Okay, hold on a second. But little do they know, you're Linus Sebastian. So Linus, little Sebastian tech tips. Now can the he, console, the entire he can do anything. Next game. I have no way of typing anything. Which is interesting. Is the console disabled? Linus, try typing this. W. A. I'm not cheating. S. D. I'm trying to put down a tree. Then you want to click the the right mouse button. Left mouse button? I forget. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. Okay, World Edit commands. Mine Here we go. Exactly. Gotta say, yeah, I gotta can't. say, even though Linus uh, is very um, hesitant to actually play the game Here the way it's go. meant to be played, the Intel processors are working great. Thanks yes. for sponsoring this stream, Intel. <laughs> 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 All right, see you later, Linus. Yes, Chase. What's what 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 the heck is going on? What's going on, Chase? Come here. Come 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 talk to the people. We need, we need a lab on, on Chase next. The week. problem with Anthony's computer at the moment is that his C drive, um, the drive that we're testing, is the larger capacity, slower speed one, 
and for whatever reason, the um, NVMe 4 SSD was not showing up for him. Oh, weird. So that's why when he's testing it, it's not getting the right speeds. But are they supposed to be testing the boot drive or the Gen 4 drive? The Gen 4 drive. Yeah. And it wasn't showing up. It wasn't showing up. So he ended up testing the, the boot drive. I believe so, yeah. Well, that's your problem. He ran into it. <laughs> okay. So should we check in with Anthony now? Although the oh. boot drive. The boot drive is supposed to be the, the PCI Gen 4 drive. Yep. For some reason, his system, it's not. The boot drive is supposed to be the Gen 4 drive? Yeah. Oh. I thought they asked the RAID 0 is the boot drive. No. Oh, no. I see. That's just one. That's just for Minecraft. Oh, the RAID 0 drive is for Minecraft. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Okay. Let's go to Anthony. Anthony, you How poor, are you poor boy. Yeah, you poor soul. What has happened? What have they done to you? What have they done to me? Oh, these fools. So, uh, wait. The problem is that the Gen 4 drive is not showing up, and that's the one you need to... No, no, the Gen 4 benchmark. drive shows up, and it's working. It's a different drive that's in this test. Uh, the drive oh, I have that. is one terabyte. This is 512 gigs that's on this piece of paper here. It's a and different so drive. You're, you're, you're guessing that you are getting lower numbers because your drive is a higher capacity one than they used to get the initial numbers. Not necessarily that it's higher capacity, but because it is different. The different drive. Um, I believe it was supposed to be the same model right. of it drive, at least, same. right? Like it, So, like, are you testing the MP600? It's an MC, MP600, yes, but it's a one terabyte that I have. And the one in the... In the test is an MP600-512? Yes. Well, it oh, doesn't weird. say MP600 at all. It just says 512. We're actually 480 gigs. I'm guessing that either way, you would need to have uh, the MP600 as the one that you're testing to get those numbers. Yes, that is the one that I am. Uh, I am testing the MP600. That is what I am looking at. And so, Chase. Chase? Does Anthony have the exact same SSD? OK, according to Chase, like you this... have the exact same SSD. The number he tested both computers and he said those numbers came from the SSD on your computer. On my computer, absolutely on, from, not. This screenshot is not possible. From the MP600, he says this terabyte? screenshot is not possible. He says it's a 480 gig drive. On the on the on the initial test. Chase says he does not know what happened. Uh, I believe. Uh, as I, as a host, I feel like this should we should just skip this test. Yeah, that's where that's exactly what I was about to say. The people are saying skip it. Anthony, you're officially allowed to move on past this checkpoint. Drop okay. it. Yeah, something now, next to wrong that is not your fault. Yes, I mean that you know that uh, that doesn't mean that everything's laid out for you perfectly, but uh, you know, obviously, obviously there will be some calculations yes. to be done at the end uh, to 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 see what what kind of penalties and bonuses this. This factors in here. All right, so let's just go back to Linus. Now, wait, before we go to Linus, one second, Linus. I got to say, there are some people in the chat being like, this is rigged, so, you know, Linus could get ahead or whatever. However, you know, I'm not I'm not cheering for either of them. You said you're 100% on Team Anthony. Yes. It. I mean, Linus, Linus kind of blew past the initial phase of kind of like troubleshooting the cables and the, you know, what, what things were plugged in the, which way and whatnot. He kind of blew past that phase a lot faster than Anthony did. Yes. So because of that, I think he's got, he's had a lot more time to troubleshoot some of these software issues. So I think regardless of Anthony had gotten past this phase, Linus is already two benchmarks ahead of him or as, as Linus got, or as Linus Anthony is, got the Cinebench. Linus is done, but he's just being an idiot. <laughs> He's done, but he hasn't punched a tree yet. <laughs> yes. Right. So, I mean, you know, depending on how long he takes to to do the Linus method of going the long way around, <laughs> Anthony may catch up. Yes. Because I know that Anthony's probably just going to get into Minecraft and just start walking. I don't know that, but I certainly hope so. <laughs> the people are saying that it's rigged so Anthony can win. 
This this is not true. What? We just want to see him be able to move on. He's 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 two benchmarks behind. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go back to Linus. All right, here we go. Linus, have you figured anything out on how to punch a tree yet? Have you built an operating system yet? I've got oh, punching. I've oh, got punching are. down. All I need yep. is a tree. You're punching down is what you're saying. Just need a tree. Got the punching. Got the punching. Figured out. Figured out. Figured out how to punch. That's step one. Yep. What? Chase says, make sure you collect the log. Collect the log. No problem. That, collect the log that drops okay. from the tree. Uh, Wait, slash, so slash. did you actually manage? Did you learn how to use the other thing? Is that? Hold on a second. Now, World edit? Is that what it's called? Why can't I fly? Okay. <laughs> what are you Happy doing? Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, Linus. Enable flying. Minecraft. Cheat. Command. What the hell is the command? Slash ability at player may fly <laughs> true. Oh. All right. Back to game. Ability. This guy. May fly. Oh, player. Hold on. Okay, what is Anthony? Oh, no, wait, I can't talk Unknown about that. Unknown or incomplete command. What? I, I believe that you'll find the command one day, Linus. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, Anthony. What are you, where are you? Where, you're, oh, you're, you're trying to Anthony. get to 3D Mark now? You're, you're not speaking to Anthony. What? There we go. <laughs> Anthony. Yes. You're, uh, you're, you're making your way to 3D Mark, we see. Yes. Okay. I just want to say on behalf of uh, Linus Media Group, I'm just so sorry. This was, on behalf of Chase, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is bizarre. But um, don't worry because we're going to factor it. We're going we're to figure this out, okay? Because this is not no, fair. No, there's, there's more to this story. There is more. There's so much more. What, why? What? What are you saying? <laughs> so you know those two identical drives? Yes. They're identical in more ways than one. And in this case, they're identical in such a way that Windows didn't know what to do with them when they were both connected. Now that I've disconnected one, it looks like this folder is no longer here. So I need to figure out what to do with this. Um, maybe I'll just like rename this folder. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll be right back. Wait a second. Does he not know that those drives were in a RAID 0 configuration? It would appear now, Ot. He does not know that they were RAID 0, so you need both of them in order to yes, function to as a single games. drive. And now he's he's confused as to why he disconnected one and a folder disappeared. Okay. More hints? Time for more hints, sir. No, let's, let's just go to Linus here. Okay. Although, there's nothing but desert as far as the eye can see. Yes. So, yes. That's how deserts work. Yeah. Usually, unless you're on the very edge. Although there's water. There's water right there. Yeah. yeah. You're not in a desert. You're not going to die anytime soon. Linus, don't worry about it. Or is it a mirage? Oh. Is this Minecraft RTX? Right. Or is that just how water looks in Minecraft now? That looks nice. Oh, it's Java. There's nice shaders. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're swimming it's been a while now. since I picked up Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, I played it the other day, and I was like, oh, my God, this looks amazing. So wait, just normal Minecraft when you boot it looks like this now? No. No, you have to... Oh. Oh, it's like you gotta get Sonic the... Ether's unbelievable shaders or something. All it right. makes it look real good. Dang. That's beautiful. I could look at that all day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going so, to punch Linus, a tree, So, Linus, how are boys. you doing? Oh, we're fine. We're good. We're going to punch a well, tree now. What do you see? Is that a, them on the horizon? Do you see some? I do. I see trees. So, it appears that after all of your your efforts to... yes to run around and to find the long way around I'm checking to chat. accomplish why, your goal. Why did, why did the commands not work? Uh, because Chase disabled Because this them. was a moral lesson for you, Linus. Yes. Well, that's Have stupid. you seen those? You're supposed to just follow the instructions. The, do the right thing. I did follow the instructions. Instead of sabotaging Anthony's PC, what? Cheats are disabled, Linus. That's... I just that's made that pretty up. Much it. I, no, I, the not, cheats are enabled. People are going to take that the wrong way. I figured out how to enable the cheats. How long do you have to freaking this hit is, this thing? I mean, Linus, how do you select it doesn't the sword? Say scratch at a tree like a cat. You're supposed to punch it. Uh, <laughs> hello? 
Although Chase did say get the wood, so he did say when, get the wood. Know. I don't know how to equip a sword. Oh, there we people go. People are people are. There um, we go. How do I equip it? I have no idea. This is crafting. Whatever. I apparently oh. have an iron sword now. Wait. I did... am not swinging it though. Was he allowed to look at chat? My hands are gone. I haven't been looking. That's at a chat. cheat. That's cheating. It's not. I'm just joking. They have shaders. Blah blah blah. Is it just slash game mode one? What? No, it says what are you doing? Argument. Well, now I just want to know. Oh, Let's game mode that. creative. Well, I'm not telling them that. Yeah. All right. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cutting Linus off for a second. Uh, as as many people in the chat are noting correctly, he's clicking instead of holding. Oh, whoops. Uh, how do I? He's clicking instead of holding. Oh. He did it. All right. And of course, this is how a tree works. I, I don't know where my inventory is. I have, you I does not inventory. I don't know how to play this game. Through the tree. Um, uh, the I mean, viewers are saying to press Alt F4 and that'll yes. solve your problem. <laughs> Thank you, that's very helpful. <laughs> Auto jump. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey, wait. We'll be right back, Linus. Linus appears to have completed, with the punching of the tree, all of the goals set out uh, in the in the rules. Is that correct? It is correct. Uh, we do need to have confirmation. We need to validate. However, however, do we say, "All right, you finished all, all the goals, and that's it"? E, End time, end the time, or 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 do we say, "Well, there's some things you missed there, bud." I, I think... It's up to him. It's up to him. All right, okay. back to Linus. But e opens the inventory. Of course, E opens the inventory. <laughs> I swear. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it be? Why would it be not anything Linus, but we, E? We cut back to you right as you. All right. Well, here's one. your here's your stupid birch log. You happy? I am Are happy. You happy Chase. Been... Chase. Is... All right. Chase okay. says you can hit the timer if you want. Oh, sure. If, yeah, that's if fine. If you think that you're done. Oh, I'm if definitely done. You think that done. you're done. All right. Okay. Linus is officially done. Two hours, uh, 30 minutes, right. and 46 seconds. Um, Apparently, that was an hour over time. This was only supposed to take an hour and a half? An hour and a half. Well, damn, <laughs> Daniel. What are you talking about? The other ones, the previous ones were like three and a half hours. <laughs> All right. They, they do get complicated. They clearly do. All right, so tell me why the commands aren't working. Now I want to know the answer. Chase, why are the commands not working? Because you have the wrong attitude. Okay, Chase, come over here. Let's. Chase, uh, come yeah, talk I thought to he's uh, mic'd. Yeah, I mean, he should be mic'd. Yeah, <laughs> Next his mic's time. not working. Maybe I, if I we actually hire. We maybe if we actually hire an audio engineer team, he'll be mic'd. So supposedly, I have cheats enabled. So why don't the commands work? There's, it's, it's gone. Yeah. Anthony's top down is gone. David just dropped the, <laughs> dropped the camera. He's like, I'm over Sorry? it. Sorry. Game mode. Yeah. Creative. I already did that. Here. Yeah, well, I can't fly. Go to boat. <laughs> I just did that. Did I mistype it or something? <laughs> hmm? oh, okay, so we have we have both of you on right now. All right. GG, yeah, Anthony. Anthony. Where did Anthony go? Oh, there's David putting on the camera. What's up, yeah, man? Yeah, what happened to Anthony? Um, the overhead, um, the power oh. for it cut out, and David oh, had I to see. fix that because gotcha. that's where my audio is. So. Uh, ah. Yeah. Ah, I see. Rock on. All okay, right. So wait. GG, I spent the last probably, good lord, I have no idea how long figuring out how to enable creative mode in Minecraft. <laughs> so. <laughs> wait, we're on both right okay, now. Okay. So Anthony you can are. Hear Linus and vice versa. Okay. Is this the so end? I guess, is this, I guess this is GG. the end. Did, did Linus... Well, you guys got to tell us. You guys got to tell us how our scores stacked up here. Because I have true. no idea what anyone else's times were like. Well, that's a good question. <laughs> um, well, we do have a know. spreadsheet, don't we? Has someone been updating that? Brilliant. <sighs> okay. All right, Chase, come over here and tell us what the final score no, is. No, I think we got him right here. All right, here we go, we ladies right and here. gentlemen. Okay. So, uh, the actual total that I'm looking at here, is this the... What, what, is that the penalties, or is this the, like... Come on, guys! I believe in you. What's the what's the higher number? What's the yeah? Chase, come over here. 
Actual total of penalties. Okay. Wait, I know that then. I can do that. All right, so we got Linus. Huh? The one that's green is the winner. That's the most simple way to do it. Okay, so um, Linus accrued. You did yes. finish first, Linus. But yeah. during your What do you mean uh, finished run, first? Well, you Well, I just finished like two minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, you finished your goals. Anthony has not finished his goals yet. He's still not finished? Well, nope. he ran into some issues. I spent like over half an hour dicking Wait. around trying to cheat at Minecraft. It just How's switched. How's that even possible? Chase just switched things. Hold on a second. <laughs> There's some last minute additions here. What a twist. Oh my gosh, and now he's reversing it. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> okay, back to, all right, all right, all right. Linus, you finished first, you finished your yes. goals. All right. all right, but due but to errors and, and omissions during your, your build process, you accrued a total of 24 minutes and 30 seconds in penalties. Errors and omissions. Why don't you tell me what my errors and omissions are, and I'll see if I, I agree. will after the stream. Just no, you I need and me. to hear them now. The stream It'll needs to hear them. It'll be a one-on-one. On one. We'll go for coffee. There's oh, wait, lots no to case. talk about. No, they gotta hear you it. You got this one here. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get this corrected. What did I error and one? omit? Because because he got that. Wait, which one? You just clicked something. Let wait. the record show. I asked Chase to grab a mic before we started, and he said he would. <laughs> yeah, this would be a lot easier if, if uh, Chase could grab a mic. Chase, I think that your scoring system is completely wrong. Okay. So if we look here, <laughs> so, so that's, his, that's accurate. His penalties are going down as I uncheck the things he's done. This this is working the opposite way it should. Yeah. Uh -oh. Why don't you guys just tell me what I didn't get, and we'll start with that. You didn't flip the radiator fans, mm. and Why that's it. Why would I need it. to do that? Because they're flipped the wrong way. No, they're not. Somehow. Wait, did you flip them? No, I didn't. No, no, they're an intake. I want them to be an intake. There's nothing wrong with that. It didn't affect Chase my performance it. at all. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I was aware of that. I also thought about using the radiator in the front of the case, but my concern was that I'd be drawing in warm... CPU heated air, and I would be pushing that over my graphics card, which is not not what I want. Okay, yeah, Alex, so got, do you understand what's going on with this? I actually agree with Linus in this situation. Okay. I think having those intake is perfectly valid. Well, this is you still get a you still get a you still get a penalty for it because you were supposed to do it. That's two minutes. Whatever. Yeah, it's whatever. All right, it's fine. 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 I'll take my two minute penalty. I'm good. Okay, so Linus accrued a total of 29 minutes. I, I think that the thing's just broken. So we can't give the specific total. I think totals? we can just say Linus has won because Anthony did not finish. It's not finished yet. <laughs> I'm installing 3D Mark. Linus is, Anthony's installing 3D Mark. We're gonna, okay, let's just wait. I'm just kidding, I don't know. I think that's, I think we have to call it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, well, well, hold on a second. I'm, Anthony, are you on the line right now? Yeah. Which of your challenges have you completed? Um, I've got Cinebench and, well, that's really about it. Uh, we ran into issues with Crystal Disk Mark. Um, and oh. I cannot run 3D Mark because it is currently on a corrupted drive. So. On a corrupted drive? Yep. Well. So, wait, Anthony, did you fix the raid? There was a raid? Yeah, so the two SATA SSDs were in a RAID 0 configuration. Well, Yikes. that would be... Wait. What? In, in a RAID 0 configuration, how? Uh, uh, I don't know the answer Chase, to that. Chase, do you want to come over here? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think we can call yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> let's just call it. Okay. I think if we're that so far away... <laughs> hey, GG, Anthony. Thank you very much. And uh, thanks to our hosts. And, of course... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to our sponsor, Intel, and everyone who provided hardware for the challenge today. We almost had a bit of a mix-up with the hardware where we thought the graphics card was dead, but hey, good news for MSI, it's not. Nice. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so you guys can check out the links to all the hardware that we used today down in the video description. You can also find all the info you need about Intel's 11th Gen Core processors 
And uh, hi, what is this? This is your prize for winning. Congrats. Oh, this is my prize for winning. Thank you very much. I, <laughs> I will treasure it always. I, I only have hundreds of these in the warehouse already. This one, this one though, this is, this is magnificent. I, is this the sample that we got from a, from a manufacturer? We were thinking of doing a, a blanket. Yeah, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And we will see you again at the next PC Tech Support Challenge. I'm just kidding. <laughs> These things are a nightmare to run. And I think that's pretty much it for this series, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs>